Welcome back, Return of the Mac, episode 116, M.A.C. Moss, Andrew Carl, hey. back in the building. Are you ready for some football? Hey, <laughs> what a fantastic week. What a fantastic week. It was week. awesome. Uh, it's been great. Football is the only thing that I've done, thought about, or participated in, in some form or fashion over the last six days. literally the only thing. Yeah, man, been a lot of football in college. I watched a few uh, college games and shit. Normally, I don't, I don't watch a lot of college football. I was going to say, you branching out. No, I've been watching a little bit here and there, catch a few games, you know, the big ones. Uh, you know, that Ohio State and Oregon. That was a good one. Was a, that was a really good game, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what's up with Ohio State's quarterback. Like, he gives me a lot of questions. Like, yeah, sometimes, together. sometimes he looks awesome. Then other times you're like, man, this dude is fucking, he fucking sucks. Yeah, he, I mean, he threw for a ton of yards, but... He threw for, like, almost 500 yards, yo. It was an like insane game. Or something, I mean, he had a lot of attempts. Week one, he looked terrible in the first half, and then he balled in the second half. Super I inconsistent. I don't know about him that's, what it, that's what it is. Like, he's just one of them dudes who looks like... Um, like, he'll overthrow, he'll overthrow a wide-open guy, but then, like, fire it into, like, a tight window yeah. and an amazing throw. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh shit! Back with the back. <laughs> right, right, right. Never knew that was coming. Forgot to mute that. <laughs> no, you yeah, don't matter now. Right so that bitch now. Uh, yeah, that's that college shit, bro. Yeah, that's that college shit be it's up and down, bro. That's why I don't care about it's it. up and down. I like to watch it because they're like it's a lot of fun games to watch, but yeah. yeah. I don't know. Every week is Never like fucking the know. best team in the nation playing the. 140th best team in the nation. Like, how do you tell them from that? Florida State lost to Jacksonville State. Yeah. First time they beat them in like 30 years or some shit. It's all good. <laughs> like, I mean, it's tight when you yeah, watch like know. streak snap and shit. Like, that's, no doubt. that's the funnest thing about yeah. college sports. Especially a huge upset like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah it was like the last play of the game. I, I didn't even see it all up. It was like the last play of the game. Lost. With this job I work, the, the events, uh, the <laughs> staff and shit, um, <clears throat> You can work on the field and like your job when you work on the field is like to stop people from rushing oh, the field. <laughs> it's, 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 it's some shit like that happens. <laughs> Good luck. But I'm like, no, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not I'll be I'm not there. Stepping in front of you. <laughs> I'm not gonna put my hands on nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yo. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna say stop. stop. Just create a wall, bro. I'm gonna say create stop. And then if motherfuckers run past me, that's it. Okay. <laughs> that's it. I always, anytime you see like uh, basketball or football where they rush the field stands or whatever, there's always so many people. Like, what always, can you do? I always think to myself, what, what the hell are y'all going to do? Right, like, right, exactly. Get out of the way. Right, 30,000 people running on the field. Literally. Literally. You're not going to win this battle. <laughs> yeah. Y'all kids. Number. Y'all number. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, wild, drunk kids. L- likely to be intoxicated. Did you, you had a game this week? Um, no, I, I tried to work the UNC game. It yeah, got canceled. I, you do the UNC I was, game. I was, but it got canceled. Um, well, the bus tour anyway did. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the uh, ODU and uh, Liberty this week. Okay. Yeah. yeah nice. So I don't know cool. how that's going to turn out. I've never seen ODU football in my life. But. I don't know. <laughs> don't know nothing. Yeah. What's got you watching college? Um, I mean... It's been interesting, I guess. I wanted to see some of the... I'm, I'm in a college quarterback mode right now. You know, I got to find the next... I'm telling you, being the Steelers has been in talks right. here recently and shit. Okay. So, I'm really doing, like, leading the the scout team for the quarterback this year. Not even four minutes in. That was... <laughs> I'm surprised it lasted this long, for real. Like, it's crazy. I'm leading that. I thought it was um, weird that you didn't like college football that much before, as much as you. College I mean, no, it's, it's not the fact that I try to find. It's not. I, I like to like. I mean, I it's just I don't make it a point to watch college football necessarily, but I like it. It's still football. It's just that right. I don't have a, a team necessarily. I like players, so it's like when Christian McCaffrey was uh, doing this thing. I used to watch all of his games. Uh, Lamar Jackson. Um, for a few other guys, but it's like, oh, Jameis Winston, of course. Um, <clears throat> like, I'll tune in for those people, but, like, I'm not – otherwise, I'll just watch a game if it's on and it's, you know, a good matchup, but it's nothing that, you know, I have to see okay. or anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm similar to that. Sorry, Billy. What about you? Did, did either one of y'all have anything happen this week? 
Man, uh, non football yo, before yeah, we get look. into like the real football. Somebody hit my truck, dog. Oh. What happened? Hit and run, man. Mm. Jesus. Motherfuckers is ruthless out here in these streets. <laughs> At the crib? No, no, I was. I went to the store. Why was that the first thing I thought to? I don't know. I was just, you know. I don't know, but I, I think you got to find where mine was. <laughs> I went to the store or whatever. And as I'm in the store, I'm chilling. I'm in the line waiting. And this guy comes in. He's like, hey, who drives the, the black Dodge out there? Uh, truck. I'm like, yo, that's me. I'm thinking he would be like, yo, nice truck, bro. I'm like, yeah, that's, me. <laughs> that's <funny. laughs> like, yeah, you know. <laughs> but no, he's like, Man, okay. somebody just crunched your shit out in the parking lot. I'm like, oh, damn, I ain't hear nothing for real. He's Get like, yeah, man, they just drove off some white van. I'm like, oh, fuck. I ain't even tripping, whatever. Because, I mean, I look outside. It don't look like my shit is up fucked up or anything. So I'm like, all right, I'll just deal with it when I get out there. So I'm like crunched up like this. I mean, it's really not that bad. I get outside and look around. I thought he was in the front at first because he said somebody backed into it. So I'm thinking somebody backed into the front of my car. Yeah. But no, they actually hit my taillight. Um, they just cracked the taillight up and they put a small dent underneath it or whatever. Um, I called my insurance. This is the fucked up part about it. You call your insurance and shit and report the hit and run. They say, oh, yeah, you can get it fixed, but it's a fucking $200 deductible in order for you to do it. It's like, all right, look, it's $200, but it's I don't want to fucking pay for that shit. I, why the fuck should I have to pay anything? I pay you guys money all the time. That's how insurance works. Yeah, it's I fucked mean, up. They used to, you should it's just write fuck. you a check. They used to do that. They stopped Right, back shit. in the day, you used to just write you a check. check. They Look, like change well, the laws on the I don't, I don't like, know what happened. It's like, so when I, when I got my, um, my radio stolen out of my shit, I called my insurance company. And they just gave me another radio. Like, oh, they gave me a check for another. I'm thinking it's going to be a similar situation. Not necessarily a check, but just pay to get my shit fixed with. Me not having to come up because I pay you guys every fucking month. Why do I have to pay for it now? I think it should be like an account that accrues and builds up from the the premium they're payments that you make. Two hundred dollars up front for the deductible, but they're they're asking for you to like hand them the money before they give you something. Or no, no, no. I would I would have to pay it to the company that fixed it. I would pay them the deductible straight up, and they would bill the insurance company the rest. Oh, that's why. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, I'm like, all right, well, you know what? It's just the, it's really just the tail light, and it's just the fucking like small dent. So I'm gonna try to pop the dent out myself. I don't really know how I'm gonna do that yet, but I just ordered the tail light. It was like sixty something bucks. So it's just the light. Yeah, it was so pretty much the most part. Yeah, it was just the light. It's like not that bad. No, it's no. not too bad. You gotta get a, a piece of junk car though. Your car is just a magnet for. No, man, no, don't, don't fucking hit it. It's huge. It's this. It, you can, how can you miss it? Oh, type shit. Like, great how did you not miss it? If it's fucking the big ass truck. I, I'm just saying, <laughs> you should you should be able to see this <laughs> in your peripheral or in your like. You should be able to see this when you're backing up or moving forward. Whatever the fuck you're doing, you should be able to see this. Was truck. Nighttime. No, it was, the, it was broad fucking daylight. It was yeah. middle of day. I was on my, my lunch break, dog. Man, shit happens. Shit fucking happened. And on wardrobe, somebody hit him right and then nobody know who the fuck did it. Like, on oh, Ward's he, road, like on fucking Ward's Road, that's the busiest road in the city. That's what should be happening though. On the busiest roads. See, yeah. <laughs> they lucky they took off. Cause I'm like, yo. I can't believe you weren't like demanding security cameras and stuff. As hard as you'll work for like if they short you a chicken nugget, but somebody hits your car. I mean, look, you the, know, the store I went to, I'm not that. No, no. I mean, I wish I could, but um, I'm just surprised you're giving up so easy. That's all. Uh, I mean, look, all that I know. Um, but I can't. It's only so much I can do. It's only so much I can do in this situation. Them down. I got my I got my little my tail light in. You know, they just lucky I didn't see them. That's it. They they got lucky. You know, you, you know I charge this to the game. You can do. The, this is there is nothing you could do. But yeah, I charge I charge to the game. I charge the game, but man, I'm about to drop my insurance company. So the guy, I'm like, shit, I might as well live out here. Well, I dirty that deductible. Yeah, you're not gonna find an insurance company that doesn't charge you a deductible. Nah, shit, I don't know. I guess I don't need one. It is what it is, man. You fucking start walking everywhere. You have to have insurance in Virginia. It's ridiculous. That's that's the scam. Not if I'm walking. You have to have fucking insurance in Virginia. That's the scam of it. Um, 
They have the law. You gotta have insurance. Yeah, you, yeah. you have to have. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's a scam. I thought that's everywhere. I think that's a good. Is it just in Virginia? Nah, I think it no, is. It's, I thought it was everybody saying, where, where can I move to? No, it's not like it's just it's a state by state thing. Everybody has their own rules. They all have different rules. I'm like, but I, you gotta have a form of insurance. Like, like in some states, you don't even gotta get an inspection. Yeah, yeah I know that. That, that was so <laughs> which I I totally agree with that shit. Mm. Yeah, I rather I rather I rather totally. have the inspection than the demand having insurance. Yeah, but insurance, more no insurance, man. Yeah, because ultimately you you don't want to get into some random ass accident and the other person can't cover you. That's true. That's true. But I mean, yeah, insurance I, sucks. I'm Definitely telling you, wrong. like the way that it's like structured should be changed. Again, I believe that when you do not have a reported accident at the end of the year, your insurance company should give you half your money back. Or at least something. They should cut you a fucking check. Like these these things only sound fair to me. Or I, mean, that's I should have an cool. account that uh, uh, like a visible account that I can like or tangible in some way, some form, like a fucking savings account just for these you know incidents or moments that I could charge to anything, you know. I don't Stuff know. Like I mean, I don't I, know what you're saying. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't get. Sounds like you just described. It, it sounds like you're going. No, to no, no. The, I think you're an just, actual no, account. It sounds like you want to benefit. No, so the insurance to benefit you more so than it benefits the insurance. Yeah, you described company. insurance. It's never going to happen. You want an account <laughs> that you're putting money into that will pay for. I said a tangible account, a visible it's account. Savings account. You don't see anything that you. You don't know how much money you're putting into your insurance company. Sure you do. I mean, you do. You're you know what premium you're paying. But what I'm saying, you don't see it. Once you, it's, just, it's fucking gone. You just paid them. All I'm saying is that, like, yeah, hey, don't pay, why can't you take... No more. Why can't, like, part of my premium that I'm paying go into a separate account to at least I know where, all right, so if I do need to pay a deductible, it can be charged out of this account because it's accrued from my premium payments. That's your own oh, savings so. account. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, I'm not saying I don't have the money to make the payments for this, but I think it's unfair. You pay for insurance for security. That's all insurance is for peace of mind. Yeah, because right. With any insurance. If you run into some accident, you can't afford $30,000 out of pocket right now to pay for your truck. That's for, yeah, facts. So it, it is unfair in that if you never have an accident, you're paying into something you never used. But, but at some point in time, if you have a major accident, and you're not having to come out of pocket for $30,000. There's a whole gang of people that didn't pay $30,000 worth of insurance, but got paid out that much. Ultimately, all I'm saying is it's a scam. This shit's a scam, bro. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, but it's, a, it's some scam elements to it. Well, so. It but is. Yeah, it, it, should, it, it should have more benefits. At the same fucking, time, like if you had to pay $30,000. It's robbery. $40, it's really strong. $400 deductible, you would pay that $400 deductible to get that $30,000 worth of work done. Oh, yeah. And you know, I, look, if, <laughs> I, if it's something that I needed to, like if that if my shit was really fucked up yeah, and I couldn't yeah. fix it myself, the way around it's, it. no, it's no doubt in my mind I would have paid the $200. Would I have been salty about it? Fuck yeah, because I'm like, yo. Whoever, you know, they should be paying for this shit, goddammit. Or somebody on. else. They're yeah, paying $30,000. Yeah, they're paying, yeah, they're paying, they're paying the whole other 97% of the fucking This is just the consumer that's mad because they have to pay a deductible. Well, no, no. I see, that'd be different if I was paying a $200 deductible for something like that. Like something that was catastrophic. Because I was talking to the guy on the phone and he was like, yeah, it's supposed to be for like, you know, catastrophic losses and stuff. I'm like, yo, it's my fucking tail light. It's just probably, it don't cost that much to actually fix. You know what I'm saying? This is not a catastrophic loss. So he just told you should, why, what it's supposed to be used for then. I'm just saying. Well, it's, 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 up to use for. It's, it's supposed to be used for whatever the fuck I hit and run. He basically saying, he basically saying, you, you can pay for your own, he basically saying, you Yo. pay for your own $60 tail light, basically what he's saying. Well, no, I mean, I'm sure they would have charged me a whole lot more. I was going to take it down to Sandroff or whatever. I'm sure they would have charged my ass like three, four hundred dollars Oh yeah, they gonna pay for, 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 for that for little fix. For sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's all a fucking scam. They're cahoots. Well, since, They're all in fucking cahoots. Since I'm not a hundred percent sure that we have a great grasp on insurance, <laughs> I do want to y'all tell Don't you guys my, <laughs> fucking work? Not, not car insurance, but I mean, well, our insurance is like life insurance have like, like so many different kind of packages and benefits. But hold on, listen. I just want to tell my two friends and anybody else that. that might be listening. Hmm. When you file a claim with your insurance, 
you're going to pay for that claim for the next three years. So if you have a situation where you have a $500 fix to your car and you got a $200 deductible, never do that. Yeah. Because you're only getting $300 from them to help fix the car right. and you're going to be paying higher premiums for three years. That's it. Yeah. This is not a finance yeah. insurance yeah. podcast. Yeah. I don't want to help. I don't want to talk about this for too long. We got fucking football. You're yeah. right. That's what I just said. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that's what I said. I mean, that's why I was like, man, I thought it was a tail light. It's not that serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah my shit's fixed now, bro. My shit is fixed. My shit's fixed now. That's good. That was an interesting conversation. Didn't know that's where we were going. I'm like, how we got there? Oh, yeah, you got your car got hit. Yeah, you had anything happen yeah. this week that was no, no, no regular word. regular shit. Some monks showed up at work today. It's kind of weird. Some monks? Yeah. Interesting. Like Shaolin? Like, yeah. It was like, it reminded me like in Ace Ventura when he went to see the monks. Wow. It was like, they, they really look like really, like real monks in real Why life. That's really what they dress. I have no idea. Would you try one? No man? idea. Would I try, try one? one? Would you try one? Hey, Taste. yo. Hey, <laughs> no, yo. no, like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, <laughs> like, it's not no, a fucking ice cream no, flavor. No. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look at the shark. No, like, the shark how, um, some monk. like, would you throw a punch at him? Or something? Would you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. that. Wait, why would you, why would... They look out of monks. That's like, wild. yo, we should fight. Yo, because they like some like <laughs> serious fighters. They like mad. Have you seen their training? Though, but they mad peaceful though. <laughs> Have you seen monks training and shit? That's just nuts, dude. They punch like um fucking concrete walls for hours. This is not just like a a just a monk thing. Oh, no, this might like be like some war, karate, thing. some kung fu monks. No, it's for the Shaolin monks. That's how they train. They yeah. fucking they hang themselves. Come on, Wu Tang. You know the motherfuckers hang themselves by their <laughs> neck. Um, and just to, like they could do it for like up to well, some of them could do it for cool. up, up to hours. They was grubbing, eating like a motherfucker. They was grubbing. Well, I'm just saying these <laughs> people like they could take a spear to the fucking neck, son. Hmm. They know how to defend that shit. Like that'll do you they got a lot like, of good in 2021. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm seeing this shit. Spears like Britney. It's, I'm just saying. Yeah. I, you know, I don't know, bro. The world wants to try a monk when he's seeing. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't. That's probably the one, one person I wouldn't fuck with. <laughs> you fuck with him, fight him. I, I wouldn't fuck with him. I won't lie. Uh, I thought they come to my mind. Though. That was the most random question. Did you want to try one? Of them? <laughs> you want to go sock one of the motherfuckers? <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, why? Why? <laughs> like, yeah, he's so peaceful. <laughs> you walk into him like, like, yeah, geez. bitch. <laughs> Want to see if y'all was really about that walk life? <laughs> oh my God. No, really, you gotta look up their training, bro. Look up the fucking Shaolin monks training, y'all. They do some. They put their body like through some crazy fucking shit. Yeah. Like the you would think somebody would would die from, like literally. But we should they, talk they about the right. NFL. That's all I got here. And I just popped in my head. I saw some monks today. Okay. You know, all right, that's cool. We can, we can move on. <laughs> so random. I love it. I right, love it. I've never seen one. Good information. I've never seen either. I don't think I've seen either. That's why I was wild. I was like, what the fuck? Did you, you ask them where they were from? I didn't really talk to them. They was just chilling. I got, I got questions. Real quiet. Bro. <laughs> I just got so many questions. I really did want to okay. ask them some questions, but I ain't feel like really going out of my way. Train me. I'll be like, yo, can you can we do like some trainings or something? Like, Carl you know. was gonna run into some random monk one day and whip out his phone and be like, oh my god. If I, I see him so again tomorrow, <laughs> if I see him again tomorrow, I'm gonna say something. But that's just too <laughs> random. Say to something, bro. Monks. Like, what are y'all doing? Say What's going on? Anybody ever try you? Anybody ever try y'all before? <laughs> that's all I want to know. You ever had to jump somewhere? What happened to the last person? I mean, that's all I want to know. Is it on camera? Oh, oh my sure. gosh. Good yeah, shit. Dog. Let's well, get the NFL season is underway. Let's yes. do it. Thursday night, we got it popping. Cowboys, Bucks. Instantly. Yeah. That was a great game to start with. Because, you know, yes. obviously the Bucks got a lot of interest coming off the Super Bowl and stuff. And you know Fresh any off. Cowboys game is going to catch uh, a lot of attention. So I think that was a smart move. NFL, great game. Was well, a great game. Yeah, awesome great game. game. A lot of back and forth offensively. Um, like I said before, I think I was kind of sleep on Dak, man. I don't, they I don't want that bitch. Uh, you know, I think yeah. the Cowboys look exactly like the Cowboys looked when Dak last played. It's just that they can score a lot of points. That was never the question. They can't stop anybody. That was always a thing. I don't think that's the case. They've all, uh, but it was last year. I, I think the last time that Dak scored like thirty points or something like that, they've lost. They're like they've lost almost every game. Yeah, or something like that. It's, it's a it's a it's a wild stat that has to do with them. Well, they only got twenty nine in this game today, so well, or think, close to it. <laughs> I think that probably has. To, so I think the, my problem with I don't know if they couldn't have 
I don't know if they could have won a different way or what. But I think the Cowboys looked really good. I walked away impressed with them for the game, and I was impressed with uh, with Dak. Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb is a fucking problem for anybody. No doubt. They're going to be a problem for anybody. No doubt. I think the problem— And Gallup's out. I think them not running the ball is an issue. I don't get it. That I think because that speaks to the stat that you just gave. Right, right. When right. Dak scores so many points, or when the Cowboys put up so many points, it's because they're in a shootout. And it's they're never not trying to run the ball. They got Zeke. What's the point? It's never understand. a case where they're down by so much. And then it like it gets to a point where they're down, and they can't. So then they got to keep passing. Yeah, right. That but, can fifty-eight I mean, times. Elliot Zeke ran the ball eleven times. Fifty-eight. But that's times. that's <laughs> best, that's been what they've been doing. When, for like the last two or three years, like McCarthy? Zeke is an afterthought. No, it's because they were doing that Garrett when, doing when Garrett was there. I don't so, know right enough, honestly. Um, um, like that's they pretty much the exact same. Like six two hundred yards last year before he got hurt. When Dak, well, when the Cowboys were winning games and had a dominating formula, it was very simple. They handed the ball to Zeke twenty times, twenty five times. Dak made plays. We know he can do that. Yeah. Imagine coming off the bootleg now with yeah, all the weapons and stuff that you have. Yeah, I mean, man. I get that the offensive they line, Dak now, though. the so offensive Dak line isn't the strength <laughs> anymore. But at the same time, it's like they don't even attempt. It's not like Zeke was bad. Yeah, it's gotta be. They don't even attempt to run the ball, and he looked Zeke looked like he had, like had fresh legs, like he was rejuvenated. He, he yeah, he looks small. He's like, I don't mean that in a bad way. No, he did. He looks small, like yeah. like in shape. He said, yeah, he said he's small as he's been. Yeah, it's, it's been. very noticeable. I don't I don't notice that that much in the NFL because all the pads and shit. But with him, I thought it was very he noticeable. He got kind of husky at one point. Yeah, like yeah. he was muscle, but it got it was kind of like he was he's getting real fat in the boy. face a little bit. Like you got to cut some of that off. Man. Honestly, I always <laughs> I've always been a fan of Zeke. Um, I used to watch him in Ohio State. I thought. Like I thought he was like a like Edger and James. That's what I always compare him to. But they just don't utilize him at all anymore. And I, I that's one thing I can't figure out because it's not like you. They try to bring Pollard in and stuff like that. But I mean, why? Speed. It don't make. I mean, Zeke got speed. I think they're just I as think much, much just speed as anybody love with the fancy toys. Yeah, they got it's a lot just of a, It's such a pass league, and Dak is looking good. Like you just said, Cooper and. Uh, they and fucking him. They I lined Zeke just, up with fullback and did a dive. It worked. They got the first down, but it's like, is that the play you've been waiting to break out for Zeke? I don't. Why? Why did they the pay him? Fool. Why pay him if this is what you were? You gonna fucking do. running true. a fullback dive that's with true. this guy, and you paying you him? Pay, yeah, already paid Fifteen him, million dollars. Overall, mm-hmm. I mean, like I said, we just killed them for five minutes straight, and it's always fun to kill the Cowboys. But overall, I, I was impressed. Yeah, with I was not getting pops too. Yeah, I was impressed week one. I did I start that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, we, right. we dove on that oh, show. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Just making sure. I thought it. they were the... 400 yards. Dak was going crazy. I thought they were the most impressive uh, loser of the first week. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, possibly. I mean, I'm just not ready to say that because... Um, I don't know. I, I guess you could say they played well, but... Um, it was a good game and all, but I don't know. I, I, I've, I've always had, like, I, I know the Bucks defense finished very strong on the season, but I don't think as a whole they were a, a great group for the entirety of last season. So I, I was one wasn't, of their starting DBs early in the game. On the bunting, yeah, yeah. Murphy bunting yeah, or whatever. That's a dude who would call a, a pick in, like, the, the three consecutive – Playoff games. Yeah. Uh, Dak was yeah, picking on that guy they brought in after that the rest of the game. Yeah, right. I mean, and Carlton Davis and the other guy, um, I mean, they're all kind of new names. So I, I still thought they were going to go through some growing pains anyway. And then, um, you know, I, that, I like that linebackers a lot. But, um, you know, I just, I'm not, I'm still not 100% sold that the Bucks have, you know, the best defense in the NFL or anything like that. So. Oh, yeah, I, I'm not surprised but they were saying, able to put up no saying that. Huh? Who's ever saying they had the best defense in the NFL? I think it's been the narrative off the Super Bowl. Yeah, I think it was. And it's fair because the way they, they – it looked like that, the way they tore up Mahomes in the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, that line got depleted, but yeah. They right, yeah, 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 yeah right. You, you got to put <laughs> take everything else into context. Yeah, and, yeah I think so. they'll be towards the top, but the, the passing or the cornerbacks don't seem to be there. Mm-hmm. Brady, Brady was impressive again, as always. Yeah, why does this one look like he got better? Honestly, Gronk might have been more impressive, but he got better. Brady no, really looks Gronk. like he's gotten better. 
Gronk got it's better. Wild. Gronk's faster. <laughs> like, I think he just. I think it's just. It's so it's refined. It's gonna sound like I'm taking away from Brady. I'm not in, intending to. Right. I think he just continued to be the Brady. guy that he yeah. is, and he just now has absolute studs. Same as last he year. Has but well, he like, just he throws the so ball easy, like yo. so easy. So easy. It's retarded. <laughs> That's all right. So they when they kicked, they kicked a field goal to take the lead. Right. Yeah. Thirty-one um, twenty-nine. Dallas. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. As they're kicking it, it's like yo, know, just it's just not worth with it. With one minute left, you don't lose. a minute and thirty four well seconds or some shit. I think it was like fourth and one or fourth and two or something. Better off going game. for it. You have to go for it. But score first, I believe. I think he's talking about the end of the game. Yeah, end of the game. Yeah, oh, I got you. Yeah, no, I'm saying at the end of the game when Dallas had the ball, it was less than a minute or less than two minutes left. And they kick the field goal to take the lead. I don't yeah. actually think like you can kill the coach for making that decision. Right. But watching it while the game is going, you're like, you know what's up. And it's like, like if, I, seen if this I know story that too many times, what? right? right. <laughs> if <laughs> I know this, then why does it the coach know that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that's the type of shit I be thinking about. Like you might as well just die right here, or else you will just watch him kill you slowly. All right, but I'd my, rather have the quick death. But my thing with McCarthy, that was just gut feeling, in my opinion. I think he and it was fourth and six. I think he, I think he knows that. that if he if he <laughs> kicks the field goal, there's only so much blame he can take. Right, because it's, it's like be the like, right thing to right, do. Right, right. So he can be like, "Oh, we yeah. got to get a stop. We did the right thing." That's true. Because if you don't get it, you're giving the ball to thirty. Yeah, <laughs> but like, I, I would <laughs> contrast the way that he the way that he does that to obviously we're going to get to the Browns game. Stefanski. Stefanski went into that game knowing I've got to call it different than the right way. For us to win. Yeah. I got to go out and go for it on fourth downs. I got to go for twos. I can't take field goals in situations. These are the Chiefs. They're going to beat us. I felt like McCarthy knew that they were going to lose and just didn't have the nuts to put it on the table and say, let's put this game away. But that's my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't think any Dallas coach has any nuts. Uh, they are, <laughs> you know, fair. <laughs> they gave those up. Yeah, once you the get spot. that deal, yeah, that's how it goes. Jerry Jones got them motherfuckers for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, well, I mean, I know I don't think the order really matters because almost all the games are one o'clock anyway. But do you want to go into the Chiefs and uh, Browns? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's get it. The Browns were the other team that I had. I think as the other one that you can discuss is the the who's the, the who, best loser of, of week one. Who's the spread coming in the album? Does anybody six? Know? Six for uh, giving the Chiefs six? Chiefs. Yeah. yeah. And ended up getting down close. That's a lot, game man. Time. They're just a – yeah, I mean, it's got to – It was down to five is okay. what I ended up getting it at. And yeah, the, the Browns covered, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. They did. They did. Right. But I, I, I was impressed. I thought – like I was just saying, I mean, I like the way this Stefanski came in and knew that he had to coach that game differently. They were super aggressive right from the jump. Mm-hmm. I think they did everything well for the majority of the game. The but thing about that aggression, you got to keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> you got to keep that shit going the whole game. They couldn't keep scoring. Mm-hmm. And they weren't. you knew they weren't going to be able to hold Kansas City to like 20 points or something. Yeah. So they just eventually just gave up too many points. But you just came a lot of big plays, man. It's the it's the this dude tossed up a bomb. Yeah, I mean just the, just those are just like go yeah. I'm mean, just I don't care. That's one of those like amazing Curry plays. three from a step in from half court. <laughs> Pretty much There's nothing you can do about it. What was that a seventy five yard touchdown? The yeah, easily, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like that, so yeah. I mean he launched it in the air a good fifty yards, and by the time Tyreek caught it, it's nothing. The DB the DB wasn't even aware of of. Like where the ball was, where Tyreek was. It didn't matter. It was. It wasn't it like matter. he led him to any particular point. <clears throat> you could tell five. he was just like it's one on one. And I there. wonder. I'm gonna just throw. You it know, up. everybody gets so excited when they see, or when like the Browns are up. Everybody said, "Oh, you know, Kansas City's." In, this is how they fucking play football. This is how Kansas City was it has played. They didn't think they were gonna come back? I mean, I, I'm sure people thought that, but they, the way the Browns were playing at that time. You just thought, hey, the Browns can keep running the ball and it's over. There was no but, doubt in my mind. <laughs> Kansas City was coming. But that's the way they play. Yeah. That's li- we watched they them win a Super yeah. Bowl that way. Yeah. Like, they like to go down and have to throw the ball. Yeah. They always quote Mahomes 
win loss record when they go down ten points. It's something retarded. It's Actually, dangerous. It's like you, you, it's like oh, I got you right where I want you now. Type shit. Like, <laughs> what can you do about it? It's, yeah. This is the way they like to play. So, um, I, I don't really know what the formula is for that. Um, but I, I don't know how how did. did did they just stop scoring? Oh, Chris Jones really started making, uh, started fucking them up a little bit. They stopped scoring. Started. It was 22 yeah. to 10 or something like Let's that. They had a 10 point the game. And just, yeah, the Browns just couldn't add. Is this, on, is this on Big Baker, though? Well, he didn't throw a touchdown. I didn't. They had three running touchdowns. Yeah, yeah, and he threw a pick at the end. Mm -hmm. Had a pick. Terrible pick. I didn't think he played good enough to. They was taking him down the field and pretty good. He has some great throws. Drives. Yeah, I mean he has one. Drives. He has some play and it, it, yeah, he it has some great the worst play of the game. But I don't think. Not I feel like anymore. Baker is. I still don't feel like he's a guy who can win you the game. Um, because he basically put him in position to score. Right, he, he can do that all runs. day. He he sure still, I still don't feel like he's the guy who can win you a game because all, all of those moments I've seen from him against like quality competition, not like from the Bengals or anything like that. He fumbles those opportunities with like a pick or a literal fumble. Um, so I don't know. So, I, but like he, he made he made him. some good throw. I feel good like throws, without so. um, OBJ on the field, he plays a lot loose, a lot more loose. When OBJ's on the field, I feel like he like I don't know. Feel like he got to get on the ball. Yeah, he didn't like play. He, play he didn't. He didn't play. play. I'm yeah, saying he was, he was loose though. He was like yeah. you know he was he's joking. He's firing that joint. That motherfucker looks like a beast. He is he a beast. Was, yo, he was looking. You make some crazy he catches over the top. In my opinion, the problem with Baker is not a Baker problem as much as it's our perception of Baker is the problem. Hmm. Baker is always. He, I think he's a good quarterback, and I think that's what he's going to be. I don't think he's anywhere close to this like upper top tier quarterbacks. I think he's like an upper mid level guy, but he's a first overall Kanye esque yeah. first polarizing overall. person that everybody in the media loves or hates him. Right. So the conversation is polarizing. never actually like a legitimate critique of his work. It means you have to pick a side. Yeah, it's he's the best. He's always a top five quarterback, or he's the worst five quarterback, and it, it doesn't end up getting you anywhere. I think he played. I think he. I think he looked good the majority of the game. That that interception was just the one. He's got to take that sack. He was fully yeah, wrapped up and going down. There was no to need to out. throw the ball. It's like a better sack. version of Mark Sanchez. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much. So it's a guy you want, <laughs> you want to manage the game. Like you just don't want to put Baker in too many spots where he's gonna. Sometimes he's gonna have to throw well, it. And he can What's throw it well. Back, back to back AFC championships. That's, but that's, that's, the thing is, Mark Sanchez never had the arm talent that like, Baker Mayfield does. Yeah, Baker got a better arm. Baker has. He does. He so has, has a. Baker is a good quarterback that will be criticized his whole career for not being elite. It is what it is. But I mean. Overall, I mean, I think it's what I expected um, for for the Chiefs or, or the LeBrons to go in there and take an L. I mean, you always expect them to take an L, but whatever. Not surprising to me. <laughs> and uh, since we're talking about quarterbacks redeeming themselves, can I, can I bring up my boy Jameis oh one time? Forget can we talk about Jameis about about tossing days. five touchdowns and absolutely fucking, I don't know, punishing the Packers did. I don't know what to say about this game because I don't think we can have an honest conversation. Can we have an honest yeah, conversation? Yeah, we can. Sure. He threw 448 yards. Jameis looked great. He did. And I think he's going to have a great year. That is where I would like to leave the story. Oh, really? I, I think the five uh, the five touchdowns is overblown because because of how little yards it was. The Packers were terrible. They just obviously, like, yeah, obviously it was short field. His overreaction game right here. Yeah, yeah, but but he did yeah. everything perfect. Like everything yeah. James did, he did well and he did it right. Yeah. So I think he deserves a lot of credit, and I don't think many people were expecting them to beat the Packers. I certainly wasn't. I bet on the Saints, but I wasn't expecting them to actually win the game. Well, just I just think the five it. touchdown conversation has already gotten the like. To me, though, what a wild. To me. This is what the Saints offense has been missing. It's Jameis Winston. <laughs> I think that what Drew Brees said. It was. It was a good line. Like, I mean, it was it's a really good line. It, it's seriously though, because I said it last year, it's like, oh, they gotta put Jameis in just to throw a deep ball. It's like you might as well just have him in the game. Like 
the, 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 they were not able to stretch the field vertically at any point last year. You just knew that they were going to do that side to side type scheme. Mm-hmm. And the Saints were good enough. How many games did they win last year? 13? 12 like games? Some shit like that. They were a great team yeah. with a limited offense. So I think. I think they're even better this year. I, the record might not support it, but overall, I think um, like deep playoff runs and, and stuff like that. I think really, I, I think they'll be the best team in their division. I think they won the division last year anyway. I think they'll duplicate that um, again. Um, okay. So yeah, I don't think they win the division. I think the Bucks do end up winning the division, but I mean, it's the majority of the majority of my adult life. It, well, it feels like. At least the last ten years, the Saints have been one of the top teams. So I, yeah. I expect them to always be at the top. And I, I really think Jameis got humbled when he had to take the backup job. And I think he seems really mature in every every little thing that you hear about him, like the stuff that you hear behind the scenes, the the quick little clips when he does talk to the media and stuff. He's just said everything right. I think he's going to have a good year. So I do expect them to be one of the top teams in the NFC because the defense is solid. I hope so, man. I hope. I, I mean, hope maybe. I'm mean, the Saints. Don't get me wrong. I'm going. I really want to nice see Jameis win the championship. Still, but. I mean, I want to see the Steelers win one before anything. But I think uh, Jameis. Jameis, I've always envisioned as a championship quality quarterback. So I really want to see him win one for sure. But the fucking Packers, man. What happened to those guys? Defense is horrible. And it was on Aaron Rodgers' ass. Saints defense is fucking lethal. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they got some good passes. This is lethal, sure. yeah. I yeah. think it's a throwaway game. Yeah. The, don't, don't the Packers do this, thing. though? Yeah. Like, yeah. normally? Well, they went the 0-4. They got or blown 0. out before the early game last year. I don't remember. The, the relax season. But I, I don't think it's... This doesn't feel different, though. No. I because of the off-season off drama. They don't have... We know they don't have, like, the... I think that's the... Name. The natural continuity mm-hmm. in that building. Like, nobody... Well, I, 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 I mean, I guess they do technically. Yeah, but I don't but. think... Uh, Ro- the Rogers' issues has never been teammate-related. Right. All no, but still, it's coaching staff and stuff like him. that. I don't see that being an issue. Coaching. That's all. It's not team oriented, but you, the, the, the coaches and and the front office, all that, the organization. I mean, I just feel like you got to have like one, like be on one page, one Sounds accord. Like a ESPN like. spinoff story to say this week. Maybe yeah. and look, and that's no definitely man. the overreaction that you're going to get right. once you get blown out thirty eight three and your quarterback held out pretty much the entire offseason and you guys have to fly out to go meet him and he wasn't taking any phone calls from you and all that. This is the good reaction you're going to get because of that. Yeah, well, saying. I mean, so all the offseason shit clearly had an impact on what we saw Sunday. I don't think that could be debated, like that it impacted some. I guess the question I have for you, are, do you, are you saying that you think this is – Oh, the Packers, the Packers are starting to no. collapse. I'm not no, saying I'm not gonna say that. Three wins. For no, us I'm not. I, I would never say that. I, we, I would say this about uh, everything that we saw. We don't know shit. Like everything we saw this weekend, we have no clue. Not yet. Um, it's too early. Yeah. Well, well, exactly what we witnessed because we don't know. You know who's who that they were playing against right. either. So um, everything has shaped itself out, but um, definitely a terrible start. And unexpectedly terrible start for the Packers. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. There's a couple teams like that, though. Yeah, I want to see. I'm really curious what they do next week. I think they're going to bounce back. I think it's a complete throwaway game. I don't know if it's really – I didn't watch a lot of that game because the other one was better. Kansas City was a better game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know how bad the defense actually played. They weren't giving up yards. Like – Right. They're going to give up points if they're continually defending short into the field. That's what it is. You, you keep putting them back on the field. But they gave up a touchdown every time the right. other team got the ball. Yeah. So I mean, that, they, that tells you the defense isn't yeah, good there, there's at a the problem same time. there, but I don't know how bad. Who knows? It's good, they're not playing together, though. I mean, uh, at some point when your offense puts you on the field and, like, those – as a defense, you can't control those things, like when you get put on the field right, or right. where you get put on the field. Only thing you control is, is like, we can get a three and out. So, like, they, you have to play together. Like I said, they don't really have that uh, field of continuity right now, and that's uh, you can't really overreact. Maybe if this carries on for the next four or five weeks or something like that, then yeah. But um, it's, I think it's some issues in Green Bay, maybe. We'll see. 
can see that. Who's next? Let's get these Steelers, man. Let's get this game. Oh, I've been holding Let's off. Let's get this game over. Let's, I've been holding I off. Get it over. Go ahead. I've been holding off. Go ahead. Take your time. I mean, Steelers Tell Bills, Tell us man. What happened? You watched all the week. I didn't watch any of it. All TV week. Oh, that shit was I've been a terrible here. first half. Bills Mafia, uh, much respect. You guys are some loyal fans, and uh, you know you root for your team, you love your team, but you guys, you needed to be humbled. Bills Mafia needed some humble pie. I think that's actually a true statement. They needed some. <laughs> Bro, I was at fucking Sam's. I think I said this last week. I was at Sam's. And the guy that was gentleman helped me. Yeah. Oh, you're a Steelers fan? <laughs> still on that. You're oh, go. you're a Steelers fan? And I'm like, yeah, I'm a Steelers fan. Listening. Oh, yeah, I hope you're listening, buddy. Think oh, you're you, you, this week. Yeah, no, he, he said, I, you, fucking asshole. You know, he said, you guys are about to get crushed by the Bills. That's what that's what he said, crushed. <laughs> You know, I said these are the type of words we're using now? Oh, crushed and destroyed. <laughs> what the fuck? And I'm like, oh, what the fuck? I'm just, I was taken back. I'm listening to all, all of these, like, these coverage podcasts and stuff talking about how the Bills are going to roll the Steelers. Yeah, take the six and a half. What? Six and a half point spread? Like, come on, bro. Hold on one second, Paul. Come on. He's starting. He's going to gamble eventually. Yeah, he's, he's, st- he's the second he's time he's mentioned the right? spread right now. Why are you talking about the spread? So it's much, starting bro? to get in his head. We're getting him. I'm All just right. saying, some of this stuff is just like, it's outrageous. Continue. It's like it's easy money. That's what it looks like to me. I still is money line, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's easy money plus two fifty. But like I told y'all last week, we're we're gonna beat. The Bills. I had no doubt in my mind of what was going to happen. It's just that... Uh, well, you was doubting the first half. <laughs> no, I won't. He was I, won't. <laughs> I, I knew our offense had to make some plays. But the one thing I knew is that our defense is going to beat a quarterback the fuck up. And that's pretty much what happened, bro. Josh Allen got beat up. I know my man woke up sore. I know he felt like he'd been in a boxing match with Floyd Mayweather and Thanos and fucking... Um, Muhammad Ali, Jesus, did you, did might you have, have any concern legitimately over the defense this year? Not no. that it would be bad, but you had lost a lot of pieces from last year. Did you think it would be the same, or, or we don't know? I mean, I, I didn't. I, I didn't think it was going to be any worse, but um, they looked better. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, they I didn't watch better. the game, but to do it to the Bills, I would imagine you got to have. The Steelers is number one defense like three week one. Bush. Yeah, Devin Bush, he looked good out Man, there. I completely forgot TJ about that. TJ Watt had... Uh, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, dude. Melvin Ingram looks like he's I saw playing I like uh, three or four years ago. He looks like a stud. Um, but, I mean, the Steelers, the thing about them is they, they gonna have, it's going to take some time uh, for us to really jail. Offense got a lot of shit to work out. Now, What's like the said, problem with the offense? Was it the line? That's what um, I saw a couple of people tweeting. Ben was awful. No, no I think Najee uh, couldn't I think, get anywhere. I, I, yeah, Najee couldn't get. They didn't open up no holes for him. But I think it really is. It's, it's pretty much as simple as if, if Ben could connect on throws. It was inaccurate. Uh, on just the short stuff, little things in the flat that would have kept drives going early on in the game. Miss Deontay in the flat on a, on a play where he really could have probably caught it and went 20, 30 yards with it. Uh, Miss uh, Najee in the flat. Najee probably could have scored. So, and just throws that he, he just threw it high. That so, Claypool catch was gorgeous. Yeah, he's a beast, catch. though. I mean, the, still those wide receivers. Are, you see Deontay Johnson's catch, though? That was nice, too. It was nice. It was that was nice. nice, too. Not the same as Moss and somebody. Yeah, yeah, nice. not quite the same. It was more of a nice. concentration, finesse catch yeah. type thing. It's toe, uh, toe drag, swag type shit. Claypool and Scary Terry had one. They were two of the best catches I saw. I don't know if I've seen that. Scary Terry. But, yeah, I mean, was McLaurin. You? One thing for sure, regardless of what happens, it, the one thing that's going to hold true is that, uh, you know, unless, you know, barring injury, Steelers will have uh, top two to three defense uh, every week. And, I mean, it, the guys, you'll be lucky to score over 21 points on the Steelers defense this season. Glad I got him on fantasy, man. Yeah, I don't disagree. I got him. I got him somewhere too. I expected them to be good, and week one went better than I even expected. So yeah. I'll take it. You, you, you guys think um, this is like an indictment on Josh Allen, or that's a week one overreaction? 
Yeah, Cooper and OVX. Y'all are, y'all are really good fucking defense. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, we made him look... Every highlight that I've seen, he's running for his life. He's dodging two and three defenders. It looked like the Super Bowl highlights. Hmm. So, I don't know. I mean, if they if they don't protect them all year, then absolutely it's going to be a problem. But I expect that it was just a week one. Y'all came in ready to rock. Defense lit it up, and they had no answer. That, that was it, because he's literally, even though he's he was 2-0 to the, uh, against the Steelers prior to that, the two games he played have been, they, they've been awful games by his standard. So, um, you can say the Steelers have had his number for the last two years. They just haven't been able to win the game. So yeah, yeah. I, 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 I say that they've had. I'll say that means he's had Jaws number. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the, he hasn't had a great performance. I know what you're saying. Turning the ball over, like I said, it hasn't been that MVP Josh Allen when he's playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And last year when we played him, we didn't have a you know a number of players that were um, you know to make him look like you know yesterday or or Sunday's game. So yeah, um, you know, look, I, I expect the Steelers to be good, man. That's it. Yeah. I did too, hey, I'm hoping for that Super Bowl hit for the yeah. plus 4,000. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. I had to put something on that. Get me rich. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'll knock out these Panthers, Panthers for us then too. It was so much fun to just watch them win week one. I don't care how it happened, how it looked, who they played. Just watching a week one win was fucking perfect. Yeah, First half man. looked really, really good. 16 nothing. Uh, they had Wilson just completely shut down. Second half, we did nothing on offense. Yeah, just so hot. Don't they give me nothing to That's the craziest thing about it. Refused to do anything. We're not even getting first downs or nothing. And just let them come back. It was a complete foot off the gas. So moving forward, I'm not disappointed. I'm not super thrilled. I'll stick with my 7-10 and 10 prediction that I had before. But it was nice to get week one. Darnold looked decent. He didn't miss any terrible throws. Got the bill. I'm high on the points on the Jets, so I'm not excited, but yeah. he looked solid. Christian McCaffrey looks good. McCaffrey looks good. He was juiced. Greatest football player of all time. That's he, one thing I, I don't he disagree with. The ball, it's just That's insane, insane, bro. One of my favorite players. You never, uh, this is how you do he this McCaffrey every time. special. He does every bro. time to bring up McCaffrey. Bro, every I, time. I, you, I this is how you do we know we know. He was special, bro. <laughs> What other player did he return to kicks, kickoffs, uh, punts? He fucking was the running back, was a wide receiver. He does fucking everything. And he was effective. Like, if he if he caught a punt, the shit was likely going to the house. Yeah. You would see him take kickoffs to the house. You don't see starting running backs do that. This is not a starting running back job. They used to do that. that, that. Right. <laughs> yeah. But it was like, yo, you could, I mean, I could, I, I always thought he was a little bit better than Bush or as far as like NFL success. Goes. Watching him play, though, like obviously you could talk about all the stats and stuff. We know he has that. It's just the eye test is just retarded. Right. When you watch him play, every time he touches the ball, like the way he cuts, the way he attacks the defender that's getting ready to try to tackle him. Like he tacks on three extra yards on every single time he touches yeah, the ball. The whole field going shift when he gets the ball. It's really ridiculous. So I think Darnold's numbers this year are going to end up looking really good because he already was utilizing him as the the check down. If there was yeah, why, why not? Just that little outlet. I don't know how much it. wins it ends up translating to for us, but I was excited to see Darnold not look terrible. And I know it's the Jets, so uh, we'll see how week two goes defensively. Mm-hmm. But man, the defense looks—they looked incredible too. Well, I'm Earth high. I'm high on uh, Carolina's defense. I think you got, like I said, Burns. He, he's going to rush the passer. That dude's a—he's a beast. Jeremy Chen is a fucking monster. Um, I think uh, what's his name had a pretty good game, right? The first round pick, JC Horn. Yeah, I'll, I'll say yes because you didn't hear his name the whole game. That, that's what I want. That's exactly <laughs> what you need from your cornerback. Plays that he made, but I barely saw him. Exactly what you expect yeah. from your cornerbacks. I don't want to hear from you because if I do, then you either got a penalty or right. somebody's you know right fucking just mossed your ass or something. So I'm excited uh, about the pressure though because that was the problem that we had last year. We couldn't get to the quarterback well enough. Burns is is all over the place. Hassan, I believe, is Whitehead. I'm getting them mixed up with Whiteside now at the center uh, for the Heat. But he was the linebacker for the Cardinals last year. Had like 13 sacks. 
He had yeah, two, yeah. two week one too. You talking about Hassan Reddick? That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah. He's Hassan a, totally fucked me same up. Same draft class as TJ Watt. Yeah. I remember that. I like this kid. Yeah. I like this kid. Yeah, yeah. First round pick. Former first round pick. I like that even better. Or at least a second round pick. I know I know he was highly touted coming out. For sure. Did you all see any of the game? Any highlights? Anything? Any thoughts? I saw uh Shaq. Oh, Catch yeah. a pick, also a monster. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was high on him when he came out too. Like I said, I like, I like the defense a lot. I thought Zach Wilson fought back. Uh, yeah, pretty second well. half, he, he he looked decent. He made a couple of really nice plays, like Kyler type plays. Yeah, where it just yeah. looks like they're gonna sack him. He runs all over the place, complete something for eighteen yards down. The field. He got some skills. It's just that he gonna have a, a horrible year because he's playing yeah. with the Jets. Yeah, they just, just it. They can't protect. Him. It's it's him. And, it's gonna be him and Corey Davis. Yeah, that's going to be it. And he looks solid too. Yeah, he's just going to have a career year. I think so. He's going to have a career year because he's going to be this is the first time he's he was in an offense with fucking Marcus Mariota. But look, like, I, so. I like our defense, but we're not going to be the best defensive front that the Jets play against all year. And yeah, they, right. just, they just lost their best tackle. <laughs> right. And he the, just went down for a year. What's his name? I don't know. Uh, I just know they said he was their best player on uh, on the on the O line. Zach gonna have a long. Zach game. is gonna get <laughs> crushed this season. He's running for his life. Yeah, I hope he survives. He's gonna be in a burrow situation. Yeah, it's gonna be tough for my man, but yeah. I think he he's still he's gonna make those highlight plays though. We're going his athletic boy. He was mm-hmm. dodge, dipping and dodging all kinds of stuff, bro. They had more than six <laughs> Go ahead, y'all. Y'all want to talk about the boys? <laughs> what you mean? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Y'all think, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, we right. waiting on you, dude. Yeah, get to it. Yeah, right. I gotta talk about this. Yes, sir. All right. Took a big L, big big L. But I'm not. I feel. I don't feel that bad about it. You should be discouraged. I feel like Mac played pretty pretty good. You say should or shouldn't? He shouldn't. I don't that was so. the tone that you, that you had, but I just like it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I say something slick. I mean, I was that mean. looked good, man. He played similar to how he played in the preseason. Very efficient. Didn't have any mistakes. No turnovers. Didn't have no wild throws or anything like that. He ran the offense to perfection pretty much. Our run game looked good. Damian Harris was getting busy until that last play. Or that last drive. Fucking fumble. fumble. Ball, fucking punch that shit out. Man, that's, that, shit that, that gets me nervous. Because I drafted him for fantasy. and But he's not a fumbler, though. That's what makes it that. That's what it makes it worse. He's not a fucking fumbler. He is that makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah, he's not a fumbler. Because you know Bill Wilson. Xavier up. Howard punched that shit while he was on oh, the way okay. to the ground. Punched gotcha. it out. You know, one of the freak plays that happened. This was towards the end of the game, you said? It was the last drive. We was about to win for the win. Our last drive of the game. Wow. Yeah. I watched so many games. Inside the five yard line. I don't even remember that. It was down the uh, fucking field goal. <laughs> wow. That's a killer. Yeah. yeah that's well, in that tough. case, you, yeah, I wouldn't feel too bad about it. Shit was tough. But, hey, shit happens. Mac was good. Like, see him. He had got a lot of pressure early in that game. The motherfucking Dolphins is fast. The motherfuckers is moving. They got some defenders out <laughs> there, too. Guys moving. Their defense they is all right. All this and defense, they fast, like, everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> Jalen Waddle will be a lot of he'll speed. Be, he'll be all right. I know I had some criticism for when they drafted him because I don't believe you're supposed to draft, like, somebody that's small in the top ten. They got to be moving. But, um, they got to be moving. Yeah, they've been used, they used him like they drafted him in the top yeah, ten. Yeah, so they've been everywhere. That. He was yeah. doing it all over the place. They, he's a key part of their offense. Do the Dolphins have a, a good front seven? I know that their DB is It's the back end. It's pretty, pretty decent. It's but stout, doing, but it's they they the back end. They can they cover they can people listen, up. They listen back pretty much the whole game. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can cover people up pretty good. Uh, I mean, <laughs> who wins that division? I think the Bills win. The Bills still win? Yeah. I got a I question, though. We'll, we'll I, it, I, we'll I meant to it. bring this up about Josh <laughs> Allen. Do Do you think we'll see any bubble effect in the NFL this year? They won't in a bubble. I don't. But they, they no, play without like fans, fans for the majority of the season. I don't think so. I'm just saying. Uh, or, I, don't I, think think, I don't think it's the same thing as the actual bubble effect. Without fans and with fans, I feel like it'll be a, some people have anxiety and shit. Like I don't think everybody is built to handle that level of pressure. It's different from when like there's nobody out there, like no fans and stuff like that. Like you almost probably feel like it's a practice setting. I'm sure that that is a true. It's got to add an element to it. I believe that that's true overall. But I would, I guess, my question would be, who would be the players that you're thinking of? Well, guy, Josh Allen will be. Well, the I'm not, first I won't think Josh Allen. Yeah, I don't, that way. I don't think that. I mean, he made continual improvements <clears throat> the year before as well. Obviously, it was a bigger jump last year, but 
He's he's the only guy that comes to mind that had like an insane impact. jump. From, yeah, the other guys are right, guys that right. we knew consistently. Before. Yeah, I mean, and it, it might be other players that are just not quarterbacks, right? That Could perform be. very well under these circumstances, and now they go back to being like. Uh, but so I don't think I don't think it'll be as big of a thing because. I know it's still different, you know, going to the league. Momentum league, swings. The and guys shit, that are, yeah, but these guys played in front of 100,000 people in college. Some of college, yeah. That, sure. So, I mean, a lot of these guys. The majority of the NFL school. is going to be from Probably bigger big schools. Yeah, so, I, say that. I don't think that'll be like an individual. I don't think you'll see an individual player just tank this year after having a good year last year. But I yeah. do agree with you that having fans will be a, an advantage for I mean, it's, it's you guys, not, right. Seattle, Bills. I like there's there's teams that are going to have that home field advantage that they didn't get to take advantage of last they're, year. They're not even limited. In it. It's like full fucking capacity. Yeah. Everything. You know, so Beautiful. that's it's fucking crazy. Yeah, right. It, it looks <laughs> odd to, to see, honestly. When you're like, oh, shit, they got... Fans and everybody is like fucking side by side. It's nuts, but um, I mean, it's definitely like I said, a beautiful thing to see. I think the, like to me, it makes the game a lot better uh, to watch, even from home. So, <laughs> hey, did you have what? Yeah, what else did you have on the Patriots set? Call. Just good. I think we'll bounce back. I think back. Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate. I, think <laughs> I mean, I didn't see him say that they was going to win the division though. Did you, did you notice that shit? That was a what? test. What? He never said it. <laughs> that was a test. That was a, a test. test. He never said it. About what? When he said, "Who's going to win that division? Win division?" I said, "Who was going to win it?" Y'all just both said, "Oh, the Bills, the Bills." <laughs> oh, no, I ain't hear you, us. bro. You all very confident, <laughs> us, bro. You all very confident. I said we're going to win the division this year. He said that shit like outside the microphone. Nobody worry about the Bills, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we look good. Mac gonna get better each, each week. This is his first week. He looked pretty good. He need to take a little bit more chances. I think moving the ball down the field, but plays consistent. We'll be all right. Cut the Jets next week. Uh, oh, yeah. That's like a wake-up call. back game. Yeah. I, already put the, I already put my bet in on that game. <laughs> it was three and a half was the opening line. It's already at five and a half. Sheesh. So, uh, yeah. yeah we, I, we I need that to bounce back. I think that's an easy comeback for the Patriots. I think Maybe the Harris Jets. Maybe have a good week. Another good week. He had 100 yards yesterday. He got up to 100? Mm-hmm. Who? Oh, wow. Damian Harris. Oh. Big day. I didn't notice that. With the fumble. Only flow. Only Issue with that fumble. I was pissed about that. Damn, yeah, I wish you would have scored, Especially too. when you had a good game and it was yeah. a game winner. That's a killer. All right, so biggest surprise of the week. The Arizona Cardinals, I think, has to be the choice. That's my choice. The biggest surprise? Yeah, yeah. for sure. They dominated the Titans. Surprise, though? They stepped Absolutely. on the Titans, bro. You expected they were going to come out and beat the shit out of the Titans? Yeah. I expected a lot of numbers to be in this game for sure. The Titans' defense is awful. I expect the Kyle to get busy. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm saying the whole game. You thought oh, they were going to get about the, smacked the by the Titans didn't, didn't score like that. Exactly. I'm talking about that. the whole game. Fuck an offense fantasy shit. I'm talking about the tight. This should have been. This should have been a Titans win. Was the expectation coming into the game? I think in general. And if they didn't win, it should have been a close loss. So I don't think anybody was predicting the. That the Cardinals were. Oh, yeah, maybe not a blowout, but I was expecting Kyle to put up numbers in this game. For that's sure. Fair. That's fair. For sure. No, I think I think Tyler <laughs> Tyler. Kyler has got to be one of the most exciting players in the league. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, Carl setting it up. What's the problem? What do you? What's your issue with Kyle? I don't have an issue. Props. Let's hear. It. No, I, I do. I, I would agree with that. That he was. He's the most. One of the most exciting players in the league. Yeah. Why not? Right, I, well, I think. I, I feel like we're about. This is about to go off the rails. So let's just do it. What? And I think Kyler Murray is what Lamar Jackson wishes he could be. That's. I, I was. Mm. Kyler Murray is better than Lamar. Lamar is incredible. I don't have to hate on him to, to say this, but he lacks the passing ability that Kyler has. Yeah, Kyler be launching that bitch. They have that that equal level of just insane running ability and elusiveness. But at the no, same it's time, at the it's same different. time, not different college enough. receivers are way better than Absolutely way. right. Yeah, yeah, no, like that. First of all, let's put that in D-hop. perspective. But I'm, I'm not going to act like Kyler Murray has a great arm. Um, he, he can throw the football. I, I've never, I've never said he couldn't. Um, I never said he couldn't run the ball. My issue with Kyler Murray is, is that, in my belief, until until he proves me otherwise, um, I believe he is too small to dominate like a playoff caliber 
defense or to be the most dominant player on the field through a playoff run and stuff like that. I think he's at some point you're going to you're going to see a defense make him look as small as he is. And that's that's all I'm, that's that's my reservation with 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 Kyle Murray is is just simply that. I think he's a good player. He can play, but you're going to you're going to need so somebody to take the small. Yeah, I think that's a cop out for you. It's a lot of small quarterbacks to drive. I think you're kind of just no, not as small as Collar though. I think you're sticking no, to no, the original. That's take. always been, that's been my original take about Collar. I, yeah, I think I said that last player. year. Uh, yeah, that, that exact take about him. That's exactly what I just said. Oh, you, I'm sticking to I that. I said you're sticking to your take. No, 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 that's the same take that I had. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, my yeah. point is I had the same yeah. take. I was watching the game yesterday and thinking about how me and you, and I think Max might have been in on this because it was before you had joined the pod, that we all thought he was making a terrible mistake choosing football over baseball when one of the draft yeah, was I happening. That. I remember that. And we were all just like, he's just too damn small for the NFL. And I think that's a legitimate concern, but I just we've seen enough now that I, I well, think no. my take was wrong. So I don't think he's too small. Yeah, I mean, I I think that I've realized that he can actually play in the NFL. That that is that's fine. What I'm saying is is how far can a Kyle Murray take you without having the rest of your team being? Can he carry your team throughout seventeen? No, he's not. He's not gonna do that. I think he will. I don't think he all, he doesn't. Why do you, just because he's small? Like that's the only reason why you think he can't do that. Yeah, that doesn't because, make sense. Uh, that doesn't make sense I, I, at all. No, he's showing does. he's elite. <laughs> he's showing that he's elite. Like I mean, he's seen. a good player. All I'm saying is that I think that is the reason why. I mean, and not saying that he can't win a Super Bowl, but I think the team around him it's not gonna be because of, and it rarely is just because of one player. But I mean, I, to me, I don't think he could put a team on his back. And 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 say this is the Kyler Murray show throughout seventeen sixteen games. I just don't. Um, it's going to be it's going to be tough because it's a lot of tough teams. I'm sure, it's tough for anybody to go to the Super Bowl or whatever. I have to thrive in the playoffs, but I think he's capable of it for sure. I think that's what he does every week. Is put the team. I mean, on his yeah, back. maybe I don't know. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm I think every single week. <laughs> I think once he faces an uh, elite defense, it's just only so much that Kyler Murray can do. You get some big guys that's coming up pressing in his face. Don't let them escape the pocket. I, I think, he, I think you're going to have a problem. That's yeah, you can. You, you can. can. You have to have a good defensive front to do it. Washington right. could do it to him. I bet you if he played Washington, you'll probably be like, damn, I didn't know Washington was going to beat the, the Cardinals up like that because those defenders out there will make him look small. Look that great against the Chargers. Their, their quarterback's better and bigger and stronger. He's a 6'5 guy. I'll just say that. Herbert is better than Kyler Murray? This is, this is why I would personally <laughs> that Carl's sticking to his original take. Right. Because all these all these excuses are bullshit. Yeah, it is. It really is. He's too small to we, in the playoffs. This is his third year. This is his third season. season you just got to keep him in the pocket. Third or fourth. Like, yeah, nobody's been able to keep him in the pocket. That's the same problem with him and Lamar. Oh, the Steelers did, and we dominated his ass when we played. I'm just saying, I've, I've witnessed defenses do this to him before. He had a, he had a game. That, that's your, your It's sense. happened to him before. And, and we t- talk about Justin Herbert. He's literally never had a, a career or a, a season as good as Justin Herbert had in his limited uh, season last year. So don't don't compare him to him. You know, I'm saying and that's crazy. I'm just saying that, that that's a fact. As far that's as like not. throwing the football, that's not you know, Justin Herbert's statistics were much better than Kyler Murray's has ever been in this league. All right, well, we're in we're the in the podcast right now. Yes. All right, we're back. We got the stats. Well, what were you, what are you saying? We're, I, you just said that we're specifically talking about quarterbacking. Moss said. Something about Kyler. You say he said he's never thrown for, for thirty 30 touchdowns. That's it, but he runs a lot of them too. And your your <laughs> response is we're talking about quarterback. Yeah. This is the same shit that I say to you every fucking time we talk about Lamar Jackson. But Lamar's thrown for thirty six touchdowns. Count. In the you, season. you suddenly bring in all the rushing stuff matters when I quote that. No, I'm not saying it's don't. But yards. we're talking about quarterback and, and Lamar Stone. He's led the NFL in, in touchdowns right. before. So these are things you can't bring up about Lamar Jackson. That's all I'm saying. No, you, you don't. You make can't bring that about Lamar all. Jackson. You don't make no. any sense at all. When we bring up Lamar that was a, Jackson, that was a good we one. compare what is the stats? What does the stats say? I bring up that he has. You bring up what that he has all this extra rushing shit. And I said that's cool. You're talking about throwing Just the football back and like and no, that's, yeah, that's, that's part of his game. Bro. Well, whatever. I, I'm not a Kyle Murray <laughs> hater. That's what y'all making it seem no, to be. I'm not, but I'm telling you, it's going to be moments where you're like, oh, well, Kyle Murray looks small. 
today. He, he looks small, small every fucking day. He He's five eleven in the I'm NFL. I'm just saying you, the stats are going to show it as well in the game. Uh, the way it played out, you'll be like, "Well, damn, they crushed Kyle Murray today." That's just how I'm just saying. That's that's what I know. You get him against a big defensive front seven that knows how to contain him. It's it's, it's going to be an easy day for that for that team. It's going to be an easy day for that team. What do the stats say? What the does the stats, stats say? have? Herbert has. 4,300 yards, 31 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 234 rushing yards, and five touchdowns. Kyler Murray, 3,900 yards. Hold on one second. 3,900 yards, 26 and 12, and 819 rushing yards with 11 touchdowns. That's a lot. You got to factor right, that. I mean, who, who's better? <laughs> I, think, I mean, we're really though. Come, come on, yeah. Kyle was better. I think that I think that shows pretty even. It was honestly worse than I expected it to be. It, it, or, it was uh, less Kyle. games for for Justin Herbert. He didn't even start the whole season. He didn't even play a whole year. Kyle's played one or more games. I'm just saying, bro. He didn't even play the whole season. He came in for Tyrod after he got his Herbert's his lung good. punctured. I was good. Man. I'm just ten games. I'm just saying, it's the difference. Whatever. Say you want to say whatever. He didn't play. That's not a whole season. I'm sorry. <laughs> all, the, not. all this stuff can whatever. Be, all this stuff can be our opinion. We're talking about <laughs> killing that whole boy. You're trying to make shit. a buy. I ain't played all the season. But no, it's a, that's a fact. Every that's a, that's one still game, a fact. Bro, just one tell game. us. Is that a whole season? Just or not? Tell us you're tell sticking that. to your guns. Just tell us you're sticking to your guns. I you're like Kyler Murray. He is minutes, an effective player. If he comes up against any defense like the Steelers, uh, the Buccaneers, or anybody with fundamental and and some sound players up front, he will get crushed. That is my As most That's quarterbacks my will have he all day with those defenses. Year. He just did it last year. <laughs> did what? <clears throat> Played great the whole fucking year. He had I'm a sure decent he season. had bad games. Yeah, he had a decent season. I'm, I'm not saying that he's he was, he was he's, he's not a terrible, terrible quarterback, and I'm not. He's an electrifying player when he's on the. He, he makes some some crazy throws. He can he can get the edge better than maybe anybody. Just like only him and Lamar Jackson can do because they're like fucking joysticks. But I'm just saying, I just don't see where you as, as you as a defensive coordinator would allow. Somebody like Kyle Murray to dominate. If you if you know you got the goods on defense, you're not gonna allow that. That's all I'm saying. All right. Yeah. That's my that's my only take. So that means issues with the top defenses in the league, as most QBs would. Sound kind of makes sense. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> kind of makes sense. Small. Yeah, whatever. I mean, whatever. Yeah, whatever. The, the defenses you face in the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers get shut down because he played a pretty fucking good defense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, tall. it's one of the greatest guys of all time, right? One of the greatest Rogers, of all time. Too tall. No, I'm just saying, bro. Talks about it. I'm just saying, look, that's, that's my philosophy behind it. Y'all don't have to believe it. Uh, your philosophy. Y'all don't have to your believe it. Make, make, make a stand yeah. and stick to it for the rest of your life and never Prove go Prove me wrong. That's it. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, Joe Burrow. I already did it. Joe Prove Burrow me wrong, Josh Allen. And one game one is Prove well. me wrong. All the guys that you don't like are all just people that you took a stand on once and refused to acknowledge that they've surpassed what you just said. No, I mean, I, I, I show love. I show love to Baker. No, you don't. I do show love to the Baker. Fuck out of here. I be showing love to Baker. And every, I never, I only hated time. Baker because you made it Baker versus Jameis. Every, I've always no. thought that he was, the, and I mean, I, I thought he shouldn't have been. You no never more. said anything good about Baker in your life. You suck the dicks of the guys <laughs> that you like, and you shit on the ones that you don't. You're the most biased fan <laughs> that I know. What are you I talking about? about? What is so ridiculous? No bias, bro. The most biased person. No I'm bias. On Waller, don't I cannot admit nothing. that you're wrong, but don't it's okay. What other games do we want to move on to? Um, um I, I want to talk about this Cardinals game. Uh, the fucking five sacks from Chandler Jones. The beast. Why did the why, How did the Patriots let this guy go? Why are you coming back to that? Why are you let this we guy go? Nothing bro? to do with this game. Oh, I'm just saying. I mean, <laughs> damn, he, he's a generational talent, though, when it comes to rushing the passer. Let people go. That's what we do. I mean, it's nuts to me. You can and then, uh, did he get? Did he get all five? Yeah, I mean, I've never Two watched it. Four fumbles, five sacks. Did he get all five on Taylor Lewan's side? Taylor Lewan. Yes. Why you? Why, why is it fuck Taylor? I hate Lewan. Taylor Lewan. Why is that? 
Uh, he's just he runs his mouth, and uh, one of the times Josh Norman was on the receiving end of it, and it's fucked Ted he, Lawan ever since then. He's been in the league for a while, right? Yeah, he's he's a loud mouth. I mean, I right. think he's a guy that you love him if he's on your team, you right. hate him if you're against him. So I don't care for him. So I was ecstatic to see him get torched all game. Dude, he's getting beat out there. He's actually really funny. He works for Barstool. He has a podcast and stuff with them. And Will Compton is like a special teams. Dude. How would you feel as a fan if he, if he put out that uh, apology that he did? What did you say? How would you feel if you were a fan if he put out that apology that he did? I liked it. For real. You liked it? Yeah, I do. I fucking hated that shit. I'm not he's, surprised. He's honest. The guy's ass with it. You're macho, man. <laughs> you like tough guy shit. You know, I'm just saying, why are you going to put it out in the tweet? We saw it. That's what people do. They tweet. You may as well own it. Yeah, I mean, you can own it. But did he, I, I would rather just see it in the interview. Like, yeah, I got my ass whooped today. <laughs> That's Stand up in front of the camera. Be a man. Oh, my God. Look me in my eyes. Somebody's running to him to get an interview after that game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they. Did. I'm sure they were. That's that's exactly what the press maybe, wants. Maybe they were. It's 2021. Put put stuff on Twitter. People well, tell I, I looked at it like, oh, this it's, pussy. It's the fastest way. Oh, you're crying on Twitter, looking for some sympathy, likes, and and retweets and shit. You're an asshole. <laughs> you're an asshole. <laughs> what a pussy. Tough guy. Is the Cardinals defense elite? I doubt. It. <laughs> no, um, I doubt. Yeah, look, man, got the they got some studs. Weapons on they got, they got, got five sacks. Yeah, on anybody, they got six. All you're overall, gonna though. disrupt the game. No, I, I like their defense, man. They got uh, Chandler Jones rushing the passer. They they drafted Zayvon Collins, and uh, as an inside linebacker, he's like a he's a big uh, Jonathan Hightower type dude. So. Um, he should be good and, and Buda Baker again is, is one of the top three safeties top two in my book in the league so I think they they have a, a player or a dude at every level um, of the defense so I think they'll be good it'd be good church yeah church I don't know what to expect from the Titans I yeah, mean, I mean, I think they'll bounce back yeah, I, too. I think they'll bounce back but they gotta yeah. figure something out on defense cause they do the same it, thing it, it doesn't go year. with your brand of running the football if you can't play defense. Nobody's scared of you. Like, okay, yeah, yeah really run the football. Go sense. ahead. I don't understand. What are they doing? Yeah, right, right. Their defense was awful last year. Like, they didn't address that? I didn't pay enough attention to the Titans. I don't know. No, they did. They, right they, they, the they picked up. Book. They put up. They picked up. Um, <laughs> the pre is the only. The one pre. I know. That's like the only one I know. The Falcons book is added to the Falcons. That's all we know. They got one player out there. He he, he doesn't see enough help much. No. Um, sure. Fuck. Fuck. Do y'all see this Lions and 49ers shit? Yeah. Well, yeah apparently they didn't watch any of that game. Yeah, yeah, I didn't watch any of it too. But apparently they were up. 41 to, to like 21 or 20 something. Yeah, well, 41 17. I was going to say 17, but. With two sure. minutes left? They said in the game. It was, was it two minutes? I don't think that's. With like two, it was two minutes and some change left or something. Possible. That doesn't crazy. seem fucking possible, right? The Lions scored with a minute left, a minute 53 left. So, no, it was. It was 41 17. When the Lions scored with a minute 53 left to make it 41-25, scored again to make it 41-33. That's nuts that you yeah. can even make that a game. And they got the ball at the end. Yeah, and they were at chance the, to win it. They was at the, like the 25-yard line yeah, golf with a chance game. to win it. Yeah, I mean, that's, you don't expect golf to make those <laughs> kind of moments. Otherwise, you know, he'll still be a Ram. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking nuts game. Not was doing the same shit that um, the Bears is doing. Putting in Trey Lance. Lance in every now and again for a couple games. Right Writings on the wall. I think he threw he threw the first touchdown action there. I don't see it happening there. Hmm? I just don't. What? He said writings on the wall. I don't see them switching up. Put Trey Lance in? Yeah. As long as they're not winning. Any, not anytime soon. No, as long as they're winning games. Too good of a team. That, right. That's, that's if you're going to win some games, as yeah. soon as Jimmy start fucking up. And start costing them some game. Jimmy, he's prone to turnovers, like and injury. They, they go, it's only a matter of time for my guy. They go five and one to start off or something. A bad game isn't going to lose it for them. That's why I think their record is going to be too good yeah. to make the change without an injury. I, I think it's no way that Jimmy Garoppolo plays seventeen games. Uh, that's that's what I'm saying. And I mean, if he gets hurt, that's been. The, the constant, like the, you can almost bank that. You like, put, can you, you put a bet on that? You want to put a bet on it? Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't want. Right. I don't want. I don't want to bet the injury. I want to bet that Lance doesn't take the job from. Him. No, see, no, it's got to be injury or anything. No, I'm not gonna bet it. Curse as well, because you can't. It's a fucked up bet. Like, you don't want to make the bet. We don't have to get anything happens. Anything. I know, bro. If he gets hurt, obviously Lance will take the job. I don't think if he stays healthy, I don't think he loses the job. Is all is all I'm saying. That's my right. point. I think they're too good. Yeah. Fields is going to lose. Yeah. Uh, is going to take that job by week three. Yeah, Fields. He should have. He should already had it. And I don't even think Dalton's playing. I don't think Dalton played terrible last night. I they love just being a fly on the wall in that in that coaching room after that game to see how they talked about Andy Dalton in that, and then how they addressed Justin Fields when he was in the game. It was like, mean, it was like a totally different thing. Like when Justin Fields was on the on the field, like he just looked like he was just ready to go. He was ready to make a play when he was on that field. They took him off. It was just like, and then Andy Dalton getting in there and make a couple short passes, but couldn't complete a drive like that. It was just, it was kind of weird. Yeah, hey, I didn't yeah. I didn't notice that. I thought I thought Dalton looked good. They just are not a good team. They're just not a yeah. good team at all. And like we said a week ago or two weeks ago, I don't understand what's the point of playing Dalton if you're going to suck already. If you're going to suck right from the jump. Why not let Fields play? Right. I mean, and man. they obviously they can tell that he adds to the team. And it's so not like because right, you try to put him on the play. field and stuff. They were stupid just high when he scored. Yeah, the team was stupid hype on when he so, scored. Like, <laughs> and it's not like it's this stupid huge gap. Like even if there is like some some gap in between, them just because Dalton has the experience, yeah, so it, you can clearly Dalton's not lighting it up. No, yeah. So we know who he is. Let let Fields get out here and take his lumps. I think uh, you know it, it'll, it'll be good for him. Ultimately, I want to talk about some other quarterbacks though. No. Talk to us. Um. Are you going to pick out the ones that you don't like? No, no, no. Hurts. Jalen Hurts, man. Wow, well, fuck. All right. Jalen Hurts, Will Smith mean. Why don't, how come they don't want me, man? Why do the Eagles not want Jalen Hurts? He seems to be a beast every time he's on the field. You, mean they you don't think want they don't want him? I don't want him. They seem every, every uh, turn, they're talking about a different quarterback. Hmm. I, don't, I don't think so. I think, they, I think they're like sold in on the, like at least the team. Um, the, the people in that locker room are like fully invested into him. I think. I think he's uh, he shows like yeah, he displays game. good leadership skills. Yeah, it's just game. a guy who comes <laughs> in and like works. Yeah, they all. Yeah, the Falcons are going. They're, they're not going to win shit. Bad defense. But um, must be bad. I mean, I, I I like Hurts. Ultimately, man, I think he's like to me he's Tyrod Taylor with more upside. Um, that, that, that's how I don't I know what that means. I don't really know Tyrod like that, but I like. Him. Sounds well, like you're saying a good thing. Yeah, I mean, with Tyrod Taylor is a, a a guy who can come in and he won't win you any games, but he can manage you two way win. I think right now, Hurts can certainly manage you to a win, but he might have the potential to win you some games. Yeah, but I think he's more of a playmaker than Tyrod is. Well, I mean, coming out of college, Tyrod was viewed as a as a playmaker, though. That's like, what I'm saying. I don't know what that means because I have such a bad view of Tyrod. And at, say, at this he's point, been in the league too long. Yeah, to right, at this point, it's soured now. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But what to think Tyrod about. coming out is a third round draft, but really kind of oh, a yeah. similar prospect. Gotcha. Um, just you thinking like, oh, this guy has so much potential. I mean, I've, I've literally watched him. Stop on the a, a dime on the sideline and, and do a 360 and throw the ball on on a fucking line to a wide receiver at a touchdown. Well, he type shit. Been, he must have been lighting it up yesterday. Yeah, he had a great game. Yeah, he had he had, a, he had a pretty good game. Um, and then the other quarterback I wanted to bring up is a guy who is not signed right now, but I don't see why he wouldn't be by the end of this week. And that's Cam. Oh, Cam? Yeah, Cam Newton. Mm-hmm. What did you think about his little? I thought it was awful. I did too. Like, I watched a little bit of it. I, I thought it was like all I saw was the clip. I didn't watch. Your it. dad is the bitter black man talking about. I don't want to do none of this angry, but you do the angry That's black what I man. I thought it was like, why you got your dad? On why you got your dad on that <laughs> shit? <laughs> he don't know nothing pops. about. Yeah, <laughs> he don't know nothing about the X's and O's and the business of football. He just know that you his son, funny, and he's salty that they cut his son. I didn't know like, that was he was that man. parent though. Like he sounded like the parent, like my son not getting enough As he be. playing time. He, he was like one of those. It should be right, right, but that's why you don't have him on there. Exactly. I wasn't <laughs> even paying attention to pops. I didn't, I didn't care for his uh, his Mac comment. Oh, that say that Mac would have been uncomfortable. Yeah, 
I don't think he was taking a shot at Mac. I don't think that was like his intent with him. Right, right. But I think he kind of threw him through the he threw Mac under the bus rather than like take accountability, even if he didn't think he did something wrong. Like he could have said, he could have he could have said the same sentiment. Of right. I think like my big personality and stuff kind of takes right. away from the team. Right, right, and right. Still got across what he was trying to say, mm-hmm. but when he says it would, what did it, what were the words? What did he say about Mac? He would he make him say he make him feel uncomfortable because his aura. Right. He's in my aura of being yeah. on the sideline. You know, the way I guy. dress that presents <laughs> that presents Mac as the problem. Well, I mean, it makes it sound like he's a beta and it's like, yo, I can't he can't have this alpha male around him or it'll frazzle him. I didn't like the way. it Well, I mean, that goes back to my point originally about can be true. Cam not being a culture fit there. I can see it making Mac feel a little uncomfortable with Cam being there and him feeling Cam feeling like him just being him can have an effect on him. Yeah, well, I'm saying I think he's right. Yeah. I think what he said is true, yeah. but I think the way he said it... And that's the reason why he was cut, for sure. The way he said it presents it as, like, Mac is not able to handle me being around. It just... It it comes off the same way that Cam has always been criticized, right. that he's me first. It was, I think it was a terrible PR move. Yeah. I didn't, Great production. PR he's been doing it, like, the whole time, though. That's what's funny about it. Great production. The, uh, he's been doing, like, his little thing weekly on. thing, yeah. I didn't Putting even know some about video out talking. Just but, like I mean... Album. Again, it just shows you. Like, like, again, I, I never thought he was a culture that. fit with the Patriots um, to begin with. <laughs> but uh, the craziest thing that I took away from that little interview shit that he did was the fact that he said that he had never called out protections and identified the Mike linebacker and stuff like that. And he, and I think this is completely wrong and ignorant when he said this shit. And I think a lot of NFL teams, if they look at that, they it he would has scare a them. He has a Mac. No, no, Cam Newton. He oh. said that was the first system that he ever went to that required him to do that. And of course, he only is playing in college and for the Panthers. Um, they said he said normally the line and the center sets the protections and all that stuff. And he he's like, uh, I, I guarantee you, 31, 30, 30, 31 other teams uh, they they leave that up to their their center to do and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, a lot of teams might do that, but as an NFL quarterback, you should. I feel like you should be able to decipher that information fairly simple. I don't think it should be something that that is like should be um, difficult for you to learn or uh, for you to adjust to. It's like, what have you been looking at your entire life? You you playing football. Like, why can't you identify I mean, these things? To me, it didn't make any sense. And it would scare me away from signing Simon, Simon Cam Newton, from him just some saying slack. some shit like that. Cam is one of those players that you just let be Cam. So I can see that's how... Offenses have been built around to where it's like you. We just need you to be do you. We don't need you to adjust plays and do that. We just need you to be Cam. I can see him being that type of because he's such a, such a dominant player that he could just add the reins and not have to do all the extra stuff that like. A but you're not always going to be that do. dominant player. Like the the dominant players yeah. are the people who actually play with their mind. Like if you can, if I can beat you upstairs first and I already won. Like those are really the best players in the NFL or like yeah, a, coach. I mean, seriously, that's how I've, that's how I've like always that. broke down the game is you got to be a smart player. like you, And to me, I don't want my quarterback saying shit like, I don't know how to, you don't know how to identify the strong side linebacker? That is elementary shit. Like, that's stuff we learned in JV. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean you don't know? Like, for me being like the, a person who sits down and, and just watches football and I can identify some shit like that, Blows my mind. Like I said, it would absolutely scare me away from signing Cam Newton. But to, I say all that to say that he, the Washington Redskins, or excuse me, the football team, should certainly sign. Yeah, <laughs> all the reasons why he shouldn't. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, he should. But they should. <laughs> they, I think he's, he would be a great fit uh, there. Um, they got a strong defense. They don't need Cam to throw the ball a ton. Uh, they clearly are in the need of a, a veteran quarterback presence because they're a team that. Wants to win now, type thing they have. Um, that's the only team I think even could consider. It's the only team that has an opening, really. They have an opening, <laughs> but they have all of the pieces in place to say, like, we need to bring in a Cam Newton to to salvage our season. You know what I'm saying? Like, what other? You're not going though with Tyler Heineke. Heineke. 
He had a little good little run, but that's not the guy. You yeah, know what I'm saying? If he was nice the guy, playoff. he would have been the guy already. He had a nice playoff. He had a nice little playoff performance. Yeah. If he was the guy, he would be the guy already. Yep. You clearly wanted a veteran quarterback in there. Well, you you're not the guy. The you're not the guy that. You're never the guy if your team is bringing in Ryan for Fitzpatrick. Right, right. That's a fact. I love Fitz. That's a fact. He was. I thought he was going to be a difference maker for them just because they could be capable. He was going to be that guy to you. Like, and then they was like, oh, shit, they're bringing in Fitz. <laughs> <laughs> they got to the kill your confidence. I got to battle man. with Fitz back. Yeah. Like, shit. That's got to kill your confidence a little bit. Yeah. They're on eight weeks, though. They're in trouble, trouble. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, that's it. You trouble, got, bro. And honestly, man, Fitzpatrick look a little out of shape. He look like <laughs> he look like it's been his seventeenth season for sure. I didn't oh, see him. Oh, I didn't shit. see him play enough to even comment. The only thing I noticed is his, his beard looked hella gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really yeah, makes yeah. him look super old. Yeah, with like the long up, yeah. gray beard. I think I think his journeyman days should be over with. Like you just hitchhike it at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like you one of them dudes. It's you stand there, like it, it should be all the teams. He's been decent the last teams. few years, and yeah. that's what just keep getting another contract. But like at that, that point, when you sign him, you know your team ain't shit, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, you know, that's you his, know it's like lane. Yeah, his lane. Yeah. His lane <laughs> is we don't actually play a bunch of games. Bad team. That that you know, you ain't got a quarterback. We play on being mediocre. Yes, I like him a lot. He's a cool dude. He seems cool, but his career's got to be coming to an end soon. Uh, I think that's all the all the takes I had from from uh, NFL. I we'll have to see. I can't know weekend. Talk about the Rams. Thing. Oh, yeah, we talk. We did, we did talk about. That. We talk about the Bears a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, not the Rams. Really. I told you. I think the Rams are going to be one of the best teams in the NFC. And Stafford looks so comfortable He's having good. legitimate receivers and like a real coach and stuff. Yeah, an actual the other coach. thing. This doesn't actually matter, but just the eye test again. Stafford looks way cooler with the Rams. Yeah, he had I don't know the short uh, the jersey just seemed like it fits. Seemed they like got the new jersey. Yeah. Like a baller with the <laughs> with the lions. I always thought he looked fat and slow. Really? And their jerseys just looked the lion lions uniform. Just sorry, black <laughs> well, I, yeah, they're awful. I don't know if I should say fat, but he just like didn't look. He rare. had like the bulky pads, he had big chunky, chunky yeah, jerseys. Yeah, just looked yeah. mad I, um, bulky. I've always seen. I, I, I think you, I might have said this before, but. Matt Stafford, like, prior to Patrick Mahomes entering the league, him and Aaron Rodgers were the most, like, athletically gifted quarterbacks in the league as far as being able to do it all. That's how I always envisioned I just thought he was in a bad spot, but he had some physical gifts like that, that, unlike anybody else, and, and except for, you know, a special talent like Aaron Rodgers, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I've well, I've I never seen Matt Stafford to be a guy to move around that like that. Yeah, game. no, he got never, feet. Never helped. Matt Stafford got feet, bro. I mean, kind of, but they was talking about during the game. They was talking about how he's never had to do all these bootlegs and so you know Rams got all the bootlegs and but he can and run running, running passes and all that shit. He can he can he's legit never run. had to do that. I, I think he's that? he's probably just as fast as Aaron Rodgers. Is, but he was sure. good doing it. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's, so. he's not a, a slow guy. Like I said, he can move. He got good feet um, in the pocket. He can escape. Uh, he can make every throw on the field. He's a uh, I, I've yeah, he's always a thought that, you know, it's, it's just been Detroit. He's been one of them hidden gems kind of thing. Um, it's but a hell of an he's 5,000 yard capable passer. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I've, I've always thought of him as a special, like, arm. Everything that you just said, like a special arm, special yeah. talent, Definitely stuck in Detroit home. with shitty teams. I just, I just never thought of him as being uh, active at all. How did he, he didn't pull move, that off? He didn't move around. Oh no, he, he can move. He How can did the Rams pull that trade off? Like, well, they gave up a lot. Golf? They gave up. A, a, they gave up like two first round picks. Man, and man, golf. It was mainly about trading golf, though. Yeah, but like, they gave the Rams up in Detroit. You're saying how did? Why did the Lions take on golf? Or why did the Rams give up golf? I'm not sure I understand your question. How did the Rams pull off getting golf off to get Matt Stafford? They gave up two first round picks with it. I think that first round picks. Yeah, I think I I think that's the way that right there. And uh, they might have got some more. It was like they were giving golf to them. They got a lot of picks. Yeah, golf was just to offset some salary shit, and they needed. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's really gotta suck. But you gotta feel like shit if you golf. You got dumped for real. Golf's out of the league in three years. 
You think he's out of the He's not out of the I league. I do. Out of the league. He's, he's not out of the league. He's, he's not starting for a team. Oh, he's us. being a backup. I'll give him being a backup. I'm, I don't think he'll not be out of the league. Oh, yeah. They sent him, to, not starting they sent him to Detroit to die. I mean, they didn't yeah. send him there to flourish. He's, he's dead already. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty much. He's dead, but the Lions need a quarterback. I just don't see him. Bro, if, around and providing if great another. players like Calvin Johnson and Barry Sanders <laughs> couldn't succeed with the Lions, this is years. This is fucking decades. Yeah. If they couldn't like make a, a career or a, a, at least have like a winning team with them, nobody is. These are all time great players at their position. Yeah. Literally like top five you know, at their positions. They just quit at 30. They, yeah, they, just they, they said I'm tired of this shit. shit. Matt Stafford was on the verge of that. I'll retire. Matt Stafford was on the verge of that shit. He's like, nah, let's go. Let's maybe it we can work wild. out a trade. They both just say, you know, y'all ain't gonna let me go. I'm quick. I'm the two it's cornerstones over. of the <laughs> franchise. I couldn't name. I couldn't name another lion. No, that's not like an elite. Star. Right, right, right. Those are the two cornerstones of the franchise. They both said, just get me out of here. I quit playing football. <laughs> that's Seriously, crazy. bro, that is crazy. Terrible organization. There's a couple games really quick, nothing too major. The Vikings had to have been my biggest disappointment of the week. They just, I don't know how good of a team they'll be. Isn't this every year with the Vikings? uh, Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they all, I think it's just the name. We think the Vikings are going to be a tough team. No, it's it's the offensive players' names. They got a lot of offensive players. It's man. it's Cook, Jefferson, Thielen, or <laughs> but then they Jefferson have fucking Diggs. Kirk Cousins, bro. That's what that's what negates all of that shit. Yeah, that's the, that's what gets them the attention, though. Yeah, they got a lot of five. His cousins <laughs> threw for five thousand once. <sighs> Did he really throw for five thousand yards? I believe so. If not, he was just yeah. Playing. He had a great. I remember he had a big year. He did that once, and they have all these weapons. I don't know if he's the That's all it needs. You just need those four things, and it's like, I mean, how could you not be good with Jefferson and Thielen and, and Cook? But he just continues to be bad. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 that's the reason why I don't believe in them. And uh, I don't know. They, they had a defense before, and I don't think they have that anymore. So, yeah, I don't believe um, so. They don't have the, all of those guys got kind of old. They, um, so, yeah, I don't believe in the Vikings. Fucking go to OT with the Bills, you know your or the 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 Bengals thing, you know your shit. And lose. Starting off rough, yeah. Well, yeah. Lost in overtime, was damn near a tie. See Jamar Chase out there balling though. He caught some a couple a, passes. Caught a bomb touchdown. He said, "I think I always thought he was too athletically gift, gifted for it to actually be an issue." I don't really concern myself with a lot of five catches for one hundred and one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he, he looked pretty good out there. Deep on the deep on the He looked pretty good. I think him and Burrow are going to be good connection. Yeah, um, and I didn't watch any of the Jags Texans game, but it's just fun right now to join the pile on that. Nobody thinks Urban Meyer is going to be around. He's not fit for beyond it. this year. He is not cut <laughs> for this talking job. Talking about the penalties that they had, the amount. Yeah, that's the, the headline. New coach, new QB, same bad Jack. <laughs> 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 Everything that I heard or saw was just terrible. Like. All the way around the whole team was just. Yeah, did I see that stat about Trevor Lawrence? It's he's his first lost. regular season loss in his life. Yeah, he's never had a loss. Yeah, this is his first time that. throwing three picks and three touchdowns. Yeah. Like, like there's a bunch of firsts for him in that game. That that's see, that's, that's see nuts see to me like that you. Yeah, game. you. I mean, he he has some decent throws in there, three but he also has three some, picks. some terrible decisions yeah. that he made in there as well too. But this is what you should expect. When yeah, was, I don't think know, anybody thought they were going to be good. Right, no, this is what, what to expect from them. Um, and I think people are getting, like, they hire names for well, coaches that, that and shit. That clearly is. Um, yeah, you got Urban Meyer. It's just a big name. John Gruden, he did, he, it's just a big name. You don't fucking deserve this job. Well, look at the franchises that are doing it. Yeah. It's yeah. the ones that are always bad and they want to give out. It's a business year, decision. Ten year, hundred million dollar contracts. And they have. He hasn't had a winning season yet. It's a business like decision. Four years into it at this point. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't had a winning season yet. I'm trying to get some fans, man. Just built that big ass fucking arena. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but the, the, you get fans. Not the, looking good. Best bro. way to get fans is to fucking win. That's uh, that's really? the best way to get <laughs> the Bills. All of a sudden, it's Bills Mafia every fucking where because they were, they won thirteen games last year. Uh, the Chargers. Chargers are getting booed at home and shit. 
They don't win. <laughs> they, they play awful down the stretch. Yeah. You would be frustrated as fuck if you were a Chargers fan. It's like it's not, not even. Uh, they're barely like seen as like they're not even seen like as a hometown team. Right. Who right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're not in San Diego no more. Yeah. They got right. Sharon John with the Rams. <laughs> that and the whole, the whole LA thing, like it's yeah. the same way with. And if you LA, you probably gonna root for the Rams. <sighs> yeah, they basically made themselves the Clippers. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. They are the Clippers. Yep. <laughs> That's the thing, though, with, like, uh, baseball teams in, in Florida and stuff. Those are, like, destination places where they're transplants. It's not, like, diehard right. Florida people. It's, right. like, people that retired and moved down to Florida. Right, right, right. It's people that want to be famous that moved out to L.A. Right, it's not, like, right. yo, the Rams, L.A., right, baby. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Nobody's really repping this shit. No. Yeah, L.A. ain't no real famous. Say if they are, they from Oakland, but... <laughs> Ah, new music. Yeah, that wraps up our football. Sorry to pop back in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Football good shit. Going. We will be back next yeah, week. hour and a half. The fun <laughs> thing is going to be next week when everything that we said this week, we take back and we choose the opposite side on. Overreaction week one. Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't mean, sure. I don't think I overreacted too much. I don't think we got crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying that some of these teams that were like absolutely, watch the Cardinals get smacked next week. Or like one of these teams that we were like, yeah, they really looked good or they really looked terrible. Still was probably lose. Was that? Still was probably lose. Yeah, got Play the Raiders. Probably lose. We, we have bad luck with the Raiders. You lose to the Raiders? Oh, man. We I have bad luck. I'm telling you, I just know. There's some teams we have bad luck with. Good to know. Good to know. Bad, bad luck with the Raiders. Hmm. But lead us. Lead us on this musical journey. What new music information do we Baby have? Baby King. I'm kind of sad. Kendrick's I new artist. I forgot about that. gets to invest in this. A lot of blue like four songs. It's a pretty good album. I think. Well, I like that. I like the, I like the majority of it. He's doing a lot of weird shit too on there. Yeah, he is a weird dude. Very weird dude. But I like. What kind of weird shit are we talking about though? It's, it's, kind it's of weird. really unorthodox. Okay. Yeah. Like no song has like your typical structure or whatever. Beat changes a lot. He makes a lot of his own beats, which I didn't know before while I was checking the credits. Oh, wow. He produces a lot of his own shit. Tons of beat changes. Yeah, yeah. But the beats be hard, though. Yeah. Like, he got to make some hard-ass beats. And it's like, I think I seen him talking on something like, he says his music is all about feel. It ain't got nothing to do with lyricism or having the hardest bars and none of that type of shit. All feel type of records. And that, it makes you understand what, where he's going with the shit that he's, that he's doing. And he's kind of pushing music a little bit. He's he, been in a lot of shit, been in a lot of different things together. It's interesting because I like see some of that <coughs> what you're what you're describing is what they used to say about Thug. I don't want to say used to, they okay. still do. Yeah. But like, you know, just making like using your voice in weird ways, doing yeah. weird voices, sounds and that. shit. He does that, but he does it in a way that is a little bit more in my life. Thoughtful. Right. Maybe. I don't know. I think it's just my I feel like Thug just be fucking with shit. And then, yeah, maybe like, Thug okay, was. yeah. It's, it's, I think it's a talent that his voice can do all of that. Like, it's like an instrument. But he doesn't put anything behind it, like, meaningful to make me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just you're just trying some shit and you're saying the same bullshit that you were saying before with it. I mean, but I mean, I like when people do do all of that, like, vocal stretching and stuff like that. But to me, it's all about, like, um, you know, putting something meaningful behind it too, or uh, at least I don't know, something catchy. I do like it more when it's like that. One of the songs he specifically like went to like the really high pitched, almost like squeaky. Mm -hmm. He's like rapping like this almost, and I'm like, yeah. usually that bothers me, but the way he did it reminded me of Thug. It reminded me of Roddy Rich has done it in a few yeah, songs. Yeah, Roddy does it. Like, a there's lot. a few guys that do it well. He does a lot of that. And I like it. And other people do it. And I'm just like, yo, shut up. Right, right, uh, right. When Future did it. Hmm. When Future did it on that Kendrick song. <laughs> Like, I despise that shit. I hate it. Because he doesn't say it. What the fuck is he talking about, though? Maybe that is. That's what I'm saying. Like, dumbest thing. What is the artistic value? It was a hard part in that song, though. And it's so the worst part. came back in, that shit was crazy. It's it's so memorable, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there is something to what he did, but I thought it was so dumb. But when Roddy does it, I'm like, it's something to it because it's future and. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, that's the only reason why I saw him moments of the song. Maybe. His future. That was the only thing he contributed. Right, right, right. And brought you in to do that. (laughs) And and you heard the song a bunch of times. Yeah. Yeah. You you know, you heard it once, you were like, that's ass. But you hear 16 times, you'll be, la dee da dee da (laughs) That's the difference, you know. But I do want to check out more of this baby kid. He's never done. He's very interesting. He got a song with Don Tyler on there. I saw that. That seems like, like a, a John uh, pretty dope parent. Yeah, it does seem like a Makes match. a lot of sense. Yeah, John with Travis and John, of course, another John with Kendrick. Match, Two too. Jones with Kendrick. Still project. Mostly him, though, as you would like. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, how it should be. How it should be. Four or five verses. He knows. The, the, the real know. See, the real know that shit. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah they know. Baby they be going to. He's real, a baby. new artist. So, yeah. You know. You know, you, get you know I'm looking. Here. That's what it is. Right. You ain't looking. You ain't listening. You know I'm looking at shit. <laughs> I might be one day. Like that, uh, might be soon. Damn. Touchdown. Who is that? Who is that? Uh, Williams. Is that, Williams? Is that yeah. T. Williams? Williams. For sure it is. is the running back? Loser. He about to take that, yes. that position. I knew he was going to be the guy today. Nobody cares. I knew he was going to be the guy today. Tyson Williams. I need it. But anyway, um, sorry. Threw y'all off. I like that new Maxwell Cream and Tyler, the creator of the record. Big Persona, did y'all hear that? I did hear that. It's probably kind of that. dope. Tyler produced it and it's rapped weird. on. It's interesting too. It's a weird, it's a like weird it. song, but like it's hard. It. It's hard. I fuck, I fuck with Maxwell Cream. Man. Did you see? Uh, did you see their text exchanges? <laughs> yeah, it's just hilarious, <laughs> Tyler's, Tyler's bro. Funny, dude. Tyler's funny. It's, it's like showing him like t- Tyler text. What's his name? Maxwell Cream. Maxwell Cream. It's when he's like, "Yo, I'm about to land in at, at, at five or some shit." And he's like, yo, come on through. And he's like, is it cool if I wear a dress? <laughs> and dude it hits him back and he's like, nah, yo, I got something for you. And he just hits him with like a screenshot of him, like he shopping dresses. for dresses and shit. <laughs> on one of these or something. Like that. Cream, this big, fat, huge gangster. Big crimp. Big, 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 most gangster. Hilarious. <laughs> Tyler is himself at all times. He, he, wanted, he needed to get that Tyler feature, though, and that beat. Yeah. <laughs> he had to make that shit happen. But that shit was dope. Uh, what else happened? That was too crazy, Drop. Carl, let hit us about this new little Papa joint. I didn't listen yet. Um, I think it's a remix, but with the joint with him and Queen Naja or whatever. I, like, I didn't listen to the I whole like thing. I Queen Naja. I thought it was a cool song. Yeah. I don't remember it. I listened to it Friday night. I think I've heard the original song already. Okay. But I, I meant to play it, but I forgot about it. I fuck with that new No Cap, though, um, a lot. I the outside. Yeah. That's just fire. That's just fire. I like it a lot. I mean, it, it certainly gonna remind you a lot of future. I mean, it's kind of hard to say that it doesn't. It's exactly. It's, yeah. it's a lot like future. You talking about this guy? I think it's fitting at that um, clip that went out of Kodak talking about him in that bar. He said it made, it made so much. I sense. Like, it all makes sense now. It made so Kodak much. Kodak loves sense. this guy. As soon as I saw <laughs> Kodak sing his you know about? No, I mean I know what you're talking about, but I don't know why that would. Correlate because I mean, I was fucking with No Cap before they was fucking with it. They're like, that whole camp just got together. As soon as I'm I saw Kodak, Kodak your guy, you like No Cap, sense. him call him to go off some bar he said that was kind of like. I mean, a lot, I think the greatest <laughs> lyricist. Uh, no, I'm, I'm telling you, like, a lot of a lot of young artists or that they go, they look at him as a the new age lyricist in the game. It just is what it is. Can you agree that the bar has been lowered? I don't, I don't, I'm that, not gonna say that because new age lyricist. I'm not gonna say that because he got some deep metaphors, bro. Okay. I think I think his metaphors are tight. I really do think it's it's, it's very thoughtful. They, and they, they, like I said, it goes they, over your head. Yeah. All right. It's some tight metaphors. They can still be tight, and we can still admit that the bar has been lowered. I don't think that's even a question. Right. I mean, it's not even close. Kodak said he was the greatest lyricist of all time, or had the greatest bars of all time. Just um, he just goat. called him a goat. You know, they th- they, they throw that word around all the time. He's not calling him the literal they, they greatest lyricist of all too. time or nothing like that. He's just saying like, hey, shit, you pretty much saying like, hey, you keep this shit up, you know, you're gonna be there. Like, some they just need to stop. I think I seen Dirk say he having a, a little Wayne run. Anybody, that. everybody that's saying they having a little Wayne run, you're not. You're not. <laughs> you're not. Right. Just stop saying. Because Lil Wayne, uh, Lil Wayne, Wayne, Wayne is like y'all doing y'all y'all not doing the mixtape Weezy Run. This is not happening. Lil Wayne won't be ten years. This is not like, like a domination. <laughs> and only did they even talk about that. Then they was talking about when he was like his height and doing yeah, features for everybody. But I mean, even then, that, that would be ten years. Right. <laughs> domination. They don't you know, know. What I'm saying? They don't know how hot he was. If they, if they think that they're in that realm right now, even if it's just a one year blaze. 
Right. They're nowhere close. Because it, nah, it was at least three or four nah. years where Wayne was like the unquestioned best you, you rapper. You couldn't find anybody that wasn't listening to Wayne. He said he was the best rapper alive, and then nobody say shit back. Yeah. No, nobody said anything back. They yeah, was like, yeah, okay. You got it. You every got song it. came out with a regular version and a little Wayne remix. Right, every song. Every song. And every, and every hit single had a Wayne but, song. Uh, the difference between <laughs> Wayne and like all of these other people, like, you know, I don't know if you're going to find a mainstream artist that, that raps with that kind of lyricism anymore because Wayne is just way too smart for, I don't think these these kids is. So they, that'd they be too a great strict. what we just said, the ball is Well, no, up. no, because I think. Like somebody like No Cap are gonna give you the same <laughs> metaphors, but not in the amount like the abundance. Wayne's gonna give you metaphors back to back to back to back to every back. Every single line. Every single line <laughs> yeah. is a punchline. That's just difficult as hell. It, it requires a lot of thinking to do. Now, not everybody can just sit there and regurgitate that type of shit. There's levels to this shit, bro. But Wayne is levels. the only person doing that. Except the bar. It's it's not the only person. He's the only he's person the best doing, doing bro, it. Bro, Jeezy not can still it. rap. It's the, they don't make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jeezy won't ever. The, the, everybody's bad, not capable of doing That's fine. It's the reason why <laughs> Wayne is Wayne. What? But you, I, I'm not going to sit here and say the bar is lower for everybody. No, it's not. Wayne, Wayne said something that was for him. And only somebody as great like Drake can do that type of thing. Like, but that don't, I'm not going to take anything away from it. These other people because they doing their thing too. That's all I'm saying. It's like, yeah, if you really listen to dude, he got some, he got some. It's, real not, it's not even that it's taking nothing away. It's not even there to take. No, that's I mean, the point we make. It's that, not even there to be taken. If that's what you think. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm, I'm not of that same belief. Yes, that's all I'm saying. I'm not of that same belief. I think. Uh, uh -huh. um, but again, yeah, the game is evolving. Um, you're just seeing it different. Then you might it might be unexpected. It might be not exactly what you uh, wanted to, so it may be hard to, to process. But it, it is what it is, and um, you know it's still gonna be lyricists in the game. It's just I, I, yeah. let's check out. But that's why I like this baby King guy because he's already off the top telling you don't look, look at me for the craziest bars and wildest lyrics. It's all a feeling. I feel like if people would just be more honest about that and stop saying like they they saying some shit. I would it, say it when you listen to No Cap. Look for the filling and the crazy bars. Okay. Look for both when you listen to No Cap. That's what I'm saying. Did he catch good defense? That's what I'm saying. That's, That's a fact. But you know, what's enough? Fabio put out a new track. I saw story that. Time. The True Story or something like story that. Story Time. Story Time. Hard record. Hard record. I and, heard of that, but I didn't listen to it. And he's, uh, he announced in this interview he did with the LA Leakers that, um, He's, his new album is going to be called Bible, the Bible, produced, executive produced by Mr. Kanye West. It's going to be called the Bible? The Bible. He's trying to break it down like, I'm just basically going to be like, he did another comparison to Hove, which is weird. I guess that's playing off. We'll get to that. But he said he's going to be like, you know, Hove the Blueprint, where I'm like, giving y'all the Bible to do on the street shit, da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Giving y'all how to the ends and outs or whatever, or doing this or whatever. So I guess he's going to let niggas know how to move out here. But um, interesting. Also in that interview, he brought up the topic of um, he asked Kanye. It was at dinner. I was like, "Yo, yo, Kanye, who who I remind you of?" And Kanye was just like, he said, Kanye was like, he he know yet. He's like, I don't know. Let me think about it. Ooh, pop smoke. And he <laughs> <laughs> said, so it kept beating. It. Time went on. They forgot all about it. He said, like, No, I got it. I got it. Hove. <laughs> I wouldn't have never told nobody that story. I was like, no, why wouldn't you know? Why wouldn't you know? I would never tell you know, anybody why, that story. It's funny in my life. when you would tell that story. If no, Kanye no. told you you reminded him of Hov, I would I would lead that story. That story bro. I would lead that no. story with like <laughs> you are telling that story. I would lead that story with like yo, like, so just I don't know what, that's Kanye. I don't know what was going on. Kanye was tripping this night. He but was off the <laughs> that's how I would lead that he story was off. off. He was off the meds. That's how I would lead that story off. It's Look, just it, it, Wild Put thing to say, but if you can't keep the I watch Christian McCaffrey in college every time that that topic comes up, if you can't keep that story to yourself, you right. think you're going to have Kanye say that he, he reminded him of hope and you're yeah. just going to bury that one. Yeah, I would. Like, you're if, crazy. If bro. I was five years old, if me being myself, I'd be like, yeah, of course. But <laughs> if you say that like five year old, don't feel that about himself. Like, he never looks like, feel like that. Did he listen to the record? <laughs> <laughs> 
he's heard his he, brother, oh, okay. right? Has he heard his old music? I thought oh, it was funny. I was like, all right, Kanye was on the meds that night, but hey, you know, he gave him a battery in his back, so he about to make some great music now. Yeah, so he's, he's just encouraged. Hopefully, yeah, he's yeah, I mean, hey, a little confidence could do can go a long way. You're so right about that shit. Album. I think it's gonna be great. Kanye producing has got to be at least it's gonna sound great. At the very least, it should. I, I listen to it. I'm not looking forward for that. to it, but I'll, I'll listen If Kanye is producing it, I think it'll, it might sound like something. Sure. Fabio's leveled up yes. from, like, absolutely never listened to him ever to... Maybe I'll try him every now and then. He impressed me with he's those Donda verses. He's been on the come up the last couple of years. I like his Donda verses. I was, I was impressed. But yeah, he got busy. I don't expect I like a lot of his music, but I'll try it. Five is in the statement. Let's pop smoke one down. This is five is going to take. It does. Uh, oh, that, they need oh, to that, make a trade. Dream 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 dream. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> they need to make a trade. I'll do that. I like to propose a trade. I'll, I'll do, do that, that. too. We'll like we that. accept. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure out the details later. Where's <laughs> where is, what is it? Uh, Fabio Domestic. <laughs> Fabio Domestic. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, speaking Fine, of Kanye, he's supposed to be on the GD anthem remix with Ruga. So I'm he good. really is going to let the GDs in the door and let them know what time it is I'm on GD. I'm good on that. I didn't want to hear the first time. <laughs> I don't, don't want to hear the Kanye version. I thought it was funny. What else happened? What else happened? Oh, Swizz responded. Oh, yeah. What happened with that? To, um, you know, Drake's shots. I, he took him on the album. I didn't know he took shots at him. You didn't hear that in the song? And so it's beats. Gave him like four bars yeah, in a row. Gave him some shit. What song, what, 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 what song was that? I, I don't know. I, I think I, read, I saved it. I read the lyrics. I think I saved it. Oh, I, mean, I didn't like, know. He, it was smooth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As always. He referenced the song they did Un, together. Yeah, unthinkable. Oh, you fancy, huh? Unthinkable. Well, yeah, the way yeah, he was been yeah, 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 I never did you nothing. You play like we family, huh? Next day you want to shoot me down. It can't be love. Not sure why you was trying to sit where you was trying to sit it. It can't be up. Yeah, I remember that. But then yeah. you sounded that day you sounded like a bitch. You fancy, huh? Yeah. Damn, how can I forgive like this? What was I forget? Cause that's what that was, ain't that what he had the little drunk rant? Yeah, well, Buster. Yeah, and he, he looked bad. What it was, neither. Yeah, yeah, he looked bad. That was that versus shit. He yeah. looked bad. He said he's gonna shoot that over your plane out the sky. Yeah, yeah, he, he looked bad. <laughs> he was, hey, you, but you know, uh, <laughs> light skinned beef ain't a real thing. This is this is not gonna get too far. Is they way too light skinned for it to ever evolve into anything? I mean, yeah, they probably won't ever do anything. I mean, well, Swiss response. He was on doing an interview. Him and Tim was doing an interview with um Angie Martinez. She asked him about it. He gave the old you know rich nigga answer. You know, life is good right now. I'm not worried about right. that. You know, I it's you know it's, it's, it's hip hop. It's what it is. You know, hip rappers get on tracks and say what they got to say. You know, I actually like the song. I thought it was a good record. You know. But I ain't got no animosity. We good. It's all cleared up. I'm like, okay. Drake must make that call. Yeah. <laughs> this don't go further than rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. yeah. I can tell you that. This don't go further than rock, paper, scissors. I think uh, Swizz is a smart guy. I think he just decided yeah. that we should end this here. Swizz is too fucking rich to be beefing with a rapper. For real. <laughs> too rich. <laughs> Well, we're out of time here. We 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 had so much fun with week one. We did. Kind of close here. So if you're uh, on the YouTube, you already know. We'll be back next week. We're on the audio. We got these samples coming, but Carl doesn't because he doesn't care about y'all as listeners. Look, I, I was locked in on football. I forgot. I forgot. That's a good enough excuse. Excused. Yeah. <laughs> Excused. <laughs> All right.